me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? Let's get started. Hello again, viewers and listeners, to the Neon Swamp, where tonight we are playing our monthly one-shot. Each month, we try a new game that catches our eye in the form of a one-shot, and tonight, that game is Heart, the City Beneath. Heart is a Rowan, Rook, and Deckard game, and is an award-winning, complete tabletop role-playing game about delving into a nightmare undercity that will give you everything you've ever dreamed of, kill you in the process. It is a dungeon-crawling, story-forward tabletop RPG from the designers of Spire that focuses on what characters have to lose in pursuit of their dreams in the chaotic darkness beneath the world. A little bit about the world, or I guess just kind of the introductory flavor to get everybody's mindset into it. Above us, the city Spire stretches into the sky. Beneath us, the city Heart stretches into the earth. Down through dirt and rock and water, down into the depths of darkness, down into madness and sickness, down into something ancient and other. I'll go into the place looking for something. Secrets of magic long lost or never discovered. Spells that itch in your blood. Unknowable creatures to hunt and harvest. Somewhere to hide or start again. Forgiveness from a god that can't hear them beg for it. And now... You thinking you've got it all figured out, wonder what you're looking for. The heart can smell you. The heart knows you're coming. When you walk out of that door, when you climb down the chasm at the end of the road, when you crawl on your belly through the writhing press of rock, you emerge beaten and bloody, it'll have you. The heart knows what you want, and by the goddess, it'll give it to you. Kill you trying. Without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our players tonight. We will start with our veteran junior GM. Take it away. Okay. God, you're never going to let that junior GM shit live in <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, hi. I'm Nico, a.k.a. Uh, the new main. And as was said, I am the veteran here, being in almost every game. Uh, and today I've been relegated to the role of Token Edgelord with my character, uh, Ket. Dead Walker, who's uh, a null, so let's hope there's no elves here, or there's going to be some conflict. But, uh, yeah, Token Edge Lord, one died, wants to die again, maybe. I don't know. On to you, Joey. Hey, y'all. Uh, Joey or uh, Pillow Farts, you can call me either or. I love both. Trademark. Um, no, trademark. <laughs> um, I'm going to be playing. Um, a drow, uh, so hopefully that's all right with you. <laughs> uh, tenacity, uh, tenacity, Malric. Um, uh, new system for me, probably the same for everyone else, um, but seemingly like based on the artwork, this thing looks really fun. So I'm excited to play. Uh, I guess we're just kind of like juggling tossing it to whoever's next so i'm gonna if it's all right give it to monkey all right uh my name is thomas uh go by monkey moto on pretty much all the socials uh i'll be playing uh Gethin bane i am a forest hound uh i am also a drow uh i am also going to share I am working with the Rolled Standard on a Morkborg podcast coming up in the future called Flail to the Face. So, look forward to that coming down the road. Nice. And, hand it uh, off to we'll whoever you want. Yeah, we'll hand it off to uh, Lance. Oh, I see how it is. You yeah. bring me to this game and then make me go next. Hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my name is Lance. Um, I do podcasting and occasional role-playing game uh, things in that vein. Uh, Muse on Minis is the name of the podcast that I'm on every once in a while. It is focuses on miniature wargaming. Uh, also on campaign one of D4 on the Floor, which Thomas was also involved with, uh, which is a good D&D &D, uh, podcast to listen to. Uh, I am playing Lind Vassail, which is a witch. 
Um, per the artwork, it's looking kind of human to me, so I think I'm going to be kind of that weird outcast, strange human type witch character who has things going on with her that she doesn't quite understand, but knows that the heart is somehow involved. So I will pass it off to Driftwood. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Driftwood. I'm thrilled to be back here for another monthly one-shot. I'm excited for heart. I really like uh, dark, twisted urban games, so this is great. I've been using uh, Into the Cess and the Citadel for some of my games. I think this is the same vein, right down to the spires. I am playing uh, Inef Denarian, a junk mage, an Ilfer, uh, one of the better class that has dominated the city, put the goddamn drow in their place. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, my peers for some reason are afraid of my greatness and my close relationship with the ground queen and I find myself on somewhat lower levels of the city, maybe a little bit underground, but that's just temporary until I seize enough power to reclaim my natural place in the hierarchy. And I will pass it off to a uh, cute snake. Hello, I am a cute snake. Uh, or Arthur, <laughs> damn it. And, right, start the stream uh, over. <laughs> uh, Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yeah, I'm. I'm. This is my first time here at the Neon Swamp. First time on the monthly one shot. So hello, everybody. Me too. Uh, I was recruited straight from the Roan Rook and Decker Discord. So my my character is Quinn Moreau. I'm an old grandma who sat in a library all day. Uh, scribbling notes about a cursed train station till I became irresponsible and let a whole bunch of demons in and they killed everyone. And so now I'm uh, walking around in a suit of armor made from train parts uh, trying to save people. Beautiful. All right. She's beautiful. <laughs> and I am Scar, your lovely GM for this evening. Um, all right. Without further ado, let's dive into this. Uh, I was going to ask you guys how you would pronounce this, because I feel like I'm not doing it right. How would you pronounce this? Is it D-I-B-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Sounds going to be like Deves or something, or Deves, yeah. yeah. Deves? Yeah, Deves sounds better. Deves. Go with that. And that's where you all are. <laughs> you are in the, in the Haven Warren Deves. Deves was once an aqueduct funneling water down into the city beneath from the rivers on the surface. Now, quiet market settlement. Around 30 families. And FYI, for the purposes of the one shot, I'm going to peel back the, the veal a little bit. Probably give you a little bit more information than I normally would, just so you guys can get an idea of the setting and get a little bit of info and to help, um, you know, get an idea of heart in general. Um, you've all been hired by Devlin to keep guard over or otherwise support the inhabitants of Devils. There's talk around town of settlements disappearing, whole communities vanishing overnight. And scared. From the central structure, the inhabitants construct walkways, ladders, and staircases that twist and twirl up into the old maintenance tunnels, natural caverns, and constructed platforms. Matter of pride to have the tallest, the most complex, or the most intricate struts leading to your home, and above the market stalls, lanterns twinkle and glimmer through wrought iron metalwork and brightly colored glass. This week, it's festival time. And the traders have gone to great lengths to make their stalls as attractive as possible to travelers. Streamers of uh, red and orange flutter in the slight breeze that blows through the tunnel, Sacred incense burns with the smell of cloves and resin, and as is tradition, all the rats in town are caught and have bells stuck to them for reasons that are lost to history. Despite the fear in the air, there is a sense of hope for a good festival and therefore a good year to come. The market is in... Go ahead. Something you shout. You said my character wasn't uh, one of the pre-mates for this, right? Correct. Something just clicked in my head. Have you? Did you have? Uh, did you have Elden Ring on the mind where you made this guy? No, no, no. Just you. This, this is just Malakit, straight up. <laughs> um, That'd be silly. Now the the market 
is in full swing at the moment. Everyone is selling treasures pulled from the depths beneath. It's bushels of mushrooms and salted lizard meat and devotional clay tablets on which the faithful write prayers to the lost in the city beneath in the hopes that their spirits will hear them. What are you all doing right now? Keep an eye on the people of the Vess. You can engage in the festivities or simply keeping guard. Uh, Gethin's actually just kind of walking around, escorting uh, Lind, and just kind of making sure to like keep an arm's length around. He's kind of wedging himself between people in the crowd. Uh, he will every now and then. He has his uh, badge for being part of the hounds, and he kind of will flash that if anybody starts getting a little too uppity into his face. Catch just patrolling around, perhaps getting a bit too close to some of the people going about their festivities, giving them a sniff before moving on. Quinn is, you know those greeters at Walmart or whatever? Quinn is uh, <laughs> sort of clanking around the opening to the, the marketplace and directing people to wherever they need to go, where they can write messages to dead people, where they can uh, buy salt pork, where whatever. You're leaning into the grandma bit a lot. I love it. <laughs> I love that. That's Best. beautiful. Are you awesome. checking receipts? <laughs> you check receipts. Oh, it's good. Um, yeah, Lid is, you know, hanging out with uh, Gethin, obviously, as he's trying to protect her, but she is fully engaging in the revelries. So she's like looking up, kind of spacely, at the streamers, and she's trying to eat a lizard on the end of a stick as it's like hanging over her mouth and staring up at it. Uh, Ina uh, <laughs> understands that all of these antics of the drow and the null are pointless in the end and has a superior approach. He has gone up to gain a vantage point of the entire settlement and is attempting to create a sigil of open water in honor of the drowned queen around the perimeter, you know, inspired by a pentagram or whatever symbol is holy to her. Um, and he is wearing one of his Ilfer masks, which is probably a little unsettling to folks there. And he's got this wolf pup prodding along his heel. Um, so he's not greeting at all, except maybe greeting the Drowned Queen if she chooses to bless this village. I believe uh, with tenacity, they are looking about the environment and uh, blessing uh, the goddess, the moon, and constantly looking at like children, uh, elderly, all that stuff, and making sure that they're feeling comfortable. For she is watching. The six <laughs> eyes always watch. Vanessa, you watch the children, they scurry by, and all approach a woman who comes toward them on a wheelchair infirm ancient high elf you know this high elf to be uh sorrow gathers stormlight she greets all the children you know that she is actually the teacher that is reading finding magics for the children settlement which are normally only around time when you're passing by indulging in the festivities you and you pass by um a familiar face his name is Vent, Moth Raider. See at his stall, um, containers made of gauze of his precious specimens. Greets you as you pass by. Oh, Lind, hello! Could I interest you in any of my fine moths today? I have some rare black skull moths in stock. Ah, uh, uh, Gethin, do you have money for this? Ah. Uh. We don't one. have time to deal with this merchant and his baubles. She's gonna get out really close to the gauze and kind of like stare at it and tilting her head in awkward angles trying to observe the moths inside. Now glare at Vent. This like, don't be trying to upsell this person again. 
Oh no! <laughs> got all kinds today too. I've got the fat ones that are good for eating and roasting, and I've got the little pretty ones that are good for pets. Everything's ten percent off for the festival. So much cheaper. Think of the savings. Uh, I just kind of like reach over and grab like one random jar and like this one. No, not that one. Putting it back. <laughs> this one. She kind of takes it from your hand and like shakes it a little bit and then shakes her head no and gives it back to you. Third time's a charm. And it just like whatever one's on like the like bottom so I pick up like one and just like grab the next one underneath of it <laughs> she seems very excited about that one alright well then you've got a sale as you guys communicate make your transaction and go about the festivities um the When as you're walking about, Devlin crosses your path, gives you a nod. Being odd you've seen yet today. Make sure everyone feels safe at the festival. Saw a gang of about four teenagers, all on the god smoke. Singing prayers to high heaven. Not aware of anything around them, but they don't seem to be causing trouble. So nothing out of the ordinary, then it sounds like. I suppose not. Keth, you're going around, smelling people, making people slightly uncomfortable. Although gnolls are not exactly uh, uncommon. Um, not quite used to their ways in most settlements. You see a person standing in the town center, wearing long robes in a hood. You notice this person has a peculiar scent to them and they're unmoving. As you get closer, you get the distinct scent of rot the closer you get. What do you do as you approach them? Uh, <clears throat> as I'm approaching them and the stench of rot hits me, I start to mumble to myself. <laughs> I smell that! That! And, uh, pick up my pace, hand on my blade ready, <laughs> moving towards them, yeah. won't say anything out loud to them fully, I'm just mumbling after under my breath. Continue unmoving, staring downward. Face can With uh, one arm still on my sword, the other free, I will lift it up and point towards them and loudly ask, You! You smell like that! Announce yourself! You see at the th the hooded figure's feet a small pool of water. Uh, that's uh, nerve-wracking. I'll scan around try to find someone else from our group that's also here to protect the village. Try and a signal for anyone to come. Yeah, and if you're overlooking the festivities and your quiet contemplation of superiority, and you see this inside as well. Um, I'm specifically looking for open water um, because that is a tribute source of power for the drown, drown goddess. So this is, you know, two strikes are out. Uh, I'm there. <laughs> uh, come down and... Uh, and we are at least somewhat familiar with each other, right? We're hired as a group. Safe to assume? Yeah, yeah. Kef, what, what ho? Oh, no, this one. They smell like death rot. Rot death. Marvelous, marvelous. Right, right up, I've got um, two old-fashioned pistols on my belt and the wolf hound at my heel. And I uh, get right up in the the alleged face of the hooded figure. I hurt myself doing that, but <laughs> I, I like had to snort back when doing part of that voice, and I felt no. it in my like sinuses. Oh. And fucking, I know exactly what you mean. That yeah. Uh. 
It's like the horseradish of voices. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've committed now. Shot, like right up your nostril. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally basing it off of Malakit from Elden Ring. You got hot <laughs> mustard in your throat. Yep. As you both address the hooded figure, and uh, uh, Keth calls out, and Yeth uh, adds on to the attention. But the figure slowly begins to raise his head, and as he does so, see that this person was once drow is clearly decrepit and decayed and long dead, but still moving endless pits in its eye sockets. And as it raises up, <laughs> you see in its mouth jutting out what can only be described as entangled tendrils of hardened coral coming out. As it exhales, suddenly a burst of water starts to gush out of its mouth and even more pools at the base. And you see clearly that salt water begins to just exude gallon by gallon from nature. All of a sudden, as this happens, you hear <laughs> minor explosions around the town as struts burst open as more salt water begins bursting out and flooding into the town. And as you look around all over town, not seen before, but clearly in sight now, several, several more hooded figures all doing the same thing as the vest begins to flood salt water. Now, we're going to begin our kind of first scenario thing here. So, um, doing things in heart is a little abstract. It's kind of comparable to Morkborg. It's not going to be you rolling the hit, me, me rolling the hit, you type stuff. It's just going to be you rolling. You guys can pretty much do whatever you want now, okay? Just know, if you do something that requires a check, it is always possible that you're going to have negative results. Um, you're trying to hit an 8 to 10. A uh, 6 to 7, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so I'm trying to scroll. But a six to seven is still a success, but you take on stress. Um, a four to five is a failure. There we are. Uh, yeah, uh, a two to five is a failure. You take stress. A one, is, as is tradition, is a crit fail. Um, so stress is basically the the abstract way of what makes up your character. So if you take up a ton of stress, uh, this is probably the easiest thing to wrap your head around is blood. Blood is your, your HP, your constitution, your, your, your physical body. If your blood stress fills up, you uh, take a fallout. Depending on the situation, you might take a minor or a major fallout. Uh, two minor fallouts equal one major. Two major fallouts pretty much equal death. You don't want that to fill up. Uh, and it doesn't matter if it's mind, echo, fortune, supplies, whatever. All of these spell disaster for your character one way or another. So, in other words, if you make a skill check, you have, uh, if you roll anything from a 1 to 7, you're taking stress. So we do it wisely. Sometimes it will be unavoidable. If there are things trying to kill you, I'm going to request a roll. Uh, but if you don't just go rolling skill checks willy-nilly, really think about what you want your character to do, as it could have dire consequences. Um, all that makes sense. So, one so crit far, fail. Yes. One is a crit fail. Two to five is a regular failure. Six to seven is a su success at a cost. 8 to 9 is a regular success, and then 10 is a critical success. So, uh, and I'm also going to guide your hands a little bit as we, because this is a, a really different game system if for me, and in, uh, at least it's different than anything I've really ever done. Um, I love it so far. But um, I'll give you a few examples of what you can do in the current situation. So, um, Vent the Moth Trader, for example, you you guys who you're seeing, you see everything begin to flood in town, and the town is rapidly flooding right now. You see them um, rush to the back of their storeroom, and he begins to try to rescue his stock. Um, 
you see the children with sorrow gathers stormlight uh they uh, let's see they go into their uh lodgings into the school and try to bar the door you see devlin all of a sudden trying to defend the town and he's trying to he begins striking down these creatures and he quickly finds himself surrounded all of them wielding rusted blades now a few examples of what you can do you can um start tracking down the uh, these creatures you can attack them um gather panic folk um you can try to quickly make a makeshift raft um you can try to swim if it comes up if you're trying to swim to rescue somebody um and try to find the, the safest way out of town and lead the party to the outskirts of town all of these require checks and just examples of what to do right now and there is no initiative if it gets too complicated i'll implement like just uh you know everybody roll a d10 and that'll tell or a d6 and that'll tell me where you all go when you go or um uh, something like that i'll do it i'll do something on the floor but normally you can just go when you, and do what you want and you can go twice as long as you're not hogging the spotlight a little too much you can you can there's no initiative just know that anything you do can incur stress well in if um is very much into the salt water i have to say <laughs> and so he's not too concerned about children or moths or devlin uh but he would like to open his arcane senses and stare at the figure in front of him and attempt to perceive the occult working that is occurring here <laughs> uh, and he's glimpsed the court of the drowned queen before so i feel like perhaps this is somewhat possible the intent would be to um understand the the spell working itself and influence it slow it down unravel it uh, steal it one of those steal it <laughs> all right cool yeah let's all right let's get our first skill check out of the way so this is where my job comes into play i have to discern what what you gotta roll so there's two elements to this you always roll um so it's similar to alien in the sense that um uh, you're wanting to create a, a dice pool or dice the better uh and that's so that's how it dictates your chances a lot so when you're rolling you always get one d10 um, and then I'm going to tell you a skill that's applicable and a domain that's applicable. And if you have the applicable skill or domain, you get to add a D10 in there. Depending on the difficulty, I might take it away from you. I, I might say this is a difficult situation, so I'm going to negate your highest roll when you roll your die, when it all is said and done. For you, my sir, I would say that is a discern and occult check. Well, I have both of those, so that will be a 3D10 check as for the difficulty i for you that's standard all right difficulty standard skill discern you will have to unpause my bad that's gonna happen <laughs> my bad and uh, if I had just a bit more stress, I would have mastery. Well, this is not ca casting a spell, so it doesn't matter. Hey, a seven. Success at a cost. Let's take a closer look at that so I can fully understand the dice rolls, how they break it up here. So your highest roll was a six. A seven. Yeah. Oh, I see a... Yeah, I'm sorry. I said six, didn't I? So seven. So yeah, a five to seven is a success at a cost. So on the bottom right in Foundry, you'll see a little dice symbol. That's to roll your stress. Uh, and then... See it? But yeah, what type of resistance, if any? Uh, no resistance. Or... Okay. No. Oh, I... I'm sorry. That's your resistance. Let me check you real quick. You you have a let's see. You have protections I've for got some fortune. Protections for fortune. Okay. Resistance as in like which uh which which track does it? Which your stress you're gonna yeah. incur, right? Yeah. So. 
This is where it gets hard for me. I got to discern what is the appropriate stress for failing you simply trying to know something. Um, how about mind? So yeah, I would guess that's what mind. I'm thinking too. Unless it's an echo because it's a twisted energy of the heart. Yeah, it's uh, madness and stability and weirdness is the mind or twisting of the body and mind by the unreal. All right, let's go with mind. Okay. So it's uh, then just three stress. That was a D4. I got a three. Yeah, three stress. Uh, and you should be able to click on the broken heart, and that will automatically add the stress for you. Uh. Beautiful. And that, all right, that's how checks work. That's literally everything. Combat. Trying to find your way out of a hole, what have you. All right, so what you discern, though, because that was still a success, so you know these creatures to be called vassals. Uh, they have an innate ability to conjure gallons and gallons of salt water. Um, and it, you know that they do this in an attempt to make an environment suitable to the queen beneath. I'm kind of conflicted about that, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> still, probably best to uh, siphon power from the Drowned Queen on my terms, not hers. Uh, is it reasonable to expect that they are drowned themselves and do not need to breathe? Uh, yeah, they're... No, yeah, vessels. they're vassals of the Drowned Queen. But yeah. your magic ability, I will say, it, it, yeah, it fills um, their lungs with salt water, but it's a, it's like a piercing type of damage. So you, I, I imagine you fill it up and pe like shoot it out of people, or like still okay. use your magic. I don't want. I'm not. It's a little weird that they made Yeneth so appropriate for the shot, but um, <laughs> we'll see how that pans out later. I'm excited. <laughs> Like salt water. Well, hey, yeah, but I think the point is for the character to be really conflicted about which side they're on here. Right. Uh, right. Still, I'll I'll shout out to everyone. They summon the drowned queen herself. Where the salt water? Those of you who still need to breathe. <laughs> Shut up, knife here. <laughs> the rest of you doing. Uh, Cat seeing uh, Devlin or whatever the fuck the guy that hired us name was being overwhelmed by these things will charge over there to help him fight them back. I'm going to try to help uh, the elder woman and all the children get into uh, a building and she's going to try to bar the door if she can. As she bars it, she's going to uh, load her breech loading pistol and then uh, like wield her sword at the same time and go oh I think we are in for a fun time okay let's let's let's, yeah, let's like um, let's conclude e like because this is pretty much y'all taking turns as you speak so let's uh, I know it's weird and and, and unorderly that probably all of us are used That's to but uh, so let's learn. conclude the the check that uh, Keth has to do Hop over you, and then and kind of do that once you're done. So everybody, how about this? Once quick, you're when you're done question with with yeah. with uh, Yeneth's stress, do you have to roll for fallout after that? Ooh, that's a good point. You're right. There's a certain threshold where it's kind of negligible, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what we wanted. Um, <laughs> oh, no. I've heard it described that a lot of games are about winning, uh, and heart is about losing in the most catastrophically awesome way possible. <laughs> I like so, that. Taking damage is fun. It's not just damage. It's cool stuff. <laughs> All right, so it. we'll let's see what fallout you take here. So is is all stress uh, an immediate trigger or? Yeah, like it's any any time you take stress is a uh, okay. 
Well, for Fallout, and then it's a D12, and if the D12 is equal to or less than your total stress, you suffer Fallout. But Fallout clears the stress level that it gives you a Fallout on, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So you go to zero stress. That was mine you took, right? That was a mine stress? Yes. Okay. I think this is appropriate. Um, give me fascination. Uh. Pop this on your sheet. Fascination. See if that added to. I don't like that the the character sheets are just one long sheet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little weird. Um. All right, it's on your sheet now. If you want to look over that. All right, now I'm going to Keth. Keth, that's going to be a kill and a cult roll. Neither of which I have. <laughs> uh, wait, do I have a cult? No, I don't. What are you? you well, you have two weapons, so it's important which one you were using. Yeah. My ritual blade. They're both kill. The, amount, the type of stress you take it change though. So if you're shooting something, obviously it's not going to be able to hit you back with a melee weapon if you're away from it. Take supply stress instead. FYI. Yeah. Yeah. The point is, I'm trying to charge up there to get some of the attention off of our boss. <laughs> you know. Right, you know what to do. Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm guessing it's godlike. Yeah. For uh, a Viking. Yeah. Thanks for the sub, Viking. Good to see you, man. Alright, I hit your fallout as well. Okay. I guess, and, um... Uh, okay, and you have a protection with blood, so... You only took one. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, uh, so... That was a failure, unfortunately. So, you're still fighting them off. Um, Devlin is getting stabbed simultaneously like multiple times right now uh moving on oh. to tenacity um you said devlin is being stabbed devlin is actively being moited um i'm running up to stop this immediately if i can um uh they're being stabbed by by who again? They're being stabbed by the vassals at the moment, the undead creatures. Uh, you see Keth trying I, to help, but he's not he's he's not landing any shots quite yet. I take out my uh, my breech loading pistol that I had in hand, and I'm going to take aim and try to shoot. All right, same roll. That. Oh, that's the breach loading pistol. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> oopsie daisy. Rolled the damage before rolling the actual. Yeah, the oopsie. oopsie we'll keep oopsie. that six for Let's sure. Get, yeah. We'll keep that six. Oh yeah, we'll keep the <laughs> six I? for sure. Yes, but roll your roll your kill cult first. See if you even land. We it. should we should all roll uh, damage first just to see what we're missing out on. Good idea. <laughs> even if you fail, you'll know how good you would have hit. <laughs> hey, it My... could help with describing us missing, hitting the pavement and the cracking and shit. Mm -hmm. Is that just a flat roll, right? The regular roll? 
So you're going to do, yeah, you're going to hit roll and then you're going to pick kill and a cult on there. Okay. And, um, go, you go ahead and roll. Um, and I'm sorry, I should have told you this as well, Nico, but this is a, uh, it, it's going to be risky as well for the difficulty. Oh, oh. that's no goo. That's no goo. Holy stress. Off to a great start, you guys. Love it. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to go so well tonight, guys. <laughs> you wasted your six. God damn it. Some fish firing from right now. Oh, no. Yeah. That is uh, supply stress, yes. I got three. All right, so yeah, you're gonna want to hit the little broken heart, it's supply stress. And then you'll roll your fallout, take the stress. So I took three stress. Fallout. Okay. Your tenacity, so right? Sorry. Uh, I believe so. Keep that fallout roll. Are you mar where are you marking this down? I thought it was uh at the top with the uh request roll 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 stress and then roll fallout. Right. So when you Am when I you rolled for your stress, it should have uh asked you the type of resistance, which you would have chosen supplies. And then uh, when you take the stress, it should have automatically added it for you. I'm going to put it in here manually for you now. See Thank where you. I put that? Yes. Okay. That's that's where that goes. And then and that's important because it dictates your fallout. As well. um, but 11 would have succeeded. So we're. All right. So, so uh, another. So each will say scenario as a, a resistance of its own in order for you to complete it. So you, it, when you do something that either ends the scenario or gets you out of the scenario, um, you're chipping away at that resistance level. So for example, this scenario um, has a resistance of five. So if you did uh, at least five damage will say on your attack you or Keth then you would have done enough to get out of the situation that makes sense so I, I didn't really bother with your check Yeneth because I wasn't sure if that really applied to the escape of the situation or not so I didn't um, there wasn't any any kind of role escape <laughs> uh, Lind is going to try to convince Vint to get and help him with his mods to hook up with Saro and the kids and get them into the school before barring the door. I'm trying to compel him to go uh, with them and to get into safety. Okay. That would see. It's going to be a compel haven check. Standard difficulty? Yes. Okay. Oof. All right, um Would you look you there. Roll your stress. And what kind of stress would this be? Uh fortune. Oof. Damn. Okay. Damn. Um, I have a thing for the witch. Hang on. Um, once per scenario, I can shift damage to echo instead of fortune, or instead of whatever I would normally roll it for. Okay, if you wish. All right. So I'm going to take three to, um, because I have a resistance in Echo, so I'll take three to Echo instead of the full four to the 
that. Ready. So are you rolling Fallout, or do we... You can roll. It's uh, So you take the stress by hitting the mm -hmm. broken heart, and then yep. that will roll that, and then it'll give you the option from the stress roll. To... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that ain't good at all, is it? Going we're going we're gonna to make it through this, go guys. Under. Yeah, well, are we? <laughs> Fun like hours might be too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so that what did I tell you? You went Echo, right? Echo, yeah. Echo, Echo. This is some kind of weird magical thing you did by transferring it to Echo, so I kind of... Yeah, sorry, I threw you off there. <laughs> I was hoping to remove it later, but <laughs> I didn't expect to fall out immediately, but I probably should have expected it. Uh, so this is, I mean, I guess GMs with this game have to really retain fallouts in their, their heads. They're not just looking over them. It's kind of, it's kind yeah. of <laughs> stressful. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I can imagine that. DM takes tree stress damage. Mine. <laughs> By success. Roll your fallout. So uh, normally they're a little bit more comprehensive, but these are more obscure. So I'm just going to roll for Your skin blisters and bubbles. When you take blood stress, take an extra D4 as your boils split first. Ooh, that God. is... It's called Bubos. Bubos? <laughs> sure. And Bubos were the black blisters that people got when they had the bubonic plague. Oh, it's a yep. cute name, though. Uh, yeah, it's adorable. It's like a, it's yeah. like a Pokemon. <laughs> Bear balls. Bear balls. Come off. Come off. <laughs> Alright, and that is on your character sheet for you to gander at at your leisure. Okay, so that when I take one hit, then it happens and then it's done? Or is it permanent? Ongoing. Ongoing. Okay. Now, uh, when we get to our first haunt, you can remove. And you can try to remove the fallout. And... We'll need to find you a dermatologist. Got it. <laughs> Alright, who has not gone yet? Uh. uh yeah, Gethin hasn't. Uh, so I, to make sure I'm understanding this correctly, Keth and Tenacity have attacked the same creature. They're uh, kind of a little group of vessels that are attacking Devlin. Okay. Uh, at that point, I'm just like, all right, this is the only answer I know to things. So I unshoulder my rifle and just line up a shot to fire at him. Okay. The kill and, uh, the cult. Kill. And oh, did cult. we? Did, what was my success? Like, did my stuff all happen the way I explained it? Is that how the success with cost works? Yes. Did I succeed in getting the kids and Vint inside? The, you, you, the kids and um, Vect. Uh, the kids were inside of a school, so then they barred the door. So you got Vect, and, and what did you do? You succeeded. So you tell me what exactly it is that you did. She was trying to get all of them together before the door was barred so that all of them are in the school. Okay. Yeah, that, that'd be it. Right. Sorry, I just forgot that I... I'm like, wait, I succeeded, even though I took a lot of boil damage for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to imagine that it's just like the weird energy from the creatures around it is causing yeah. them to bit yeah, and Mutating up. Boil. Yep. Strange. That makes all sense. Right. Yes! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love no. to see it. <laughs> All right, let's see the damage. All right. All right, I'm trying to. Okay, there we go. That is five damage on a D8 roll for the equipment. All right. So I line Describe up that what you shot, do. and it's just like lining up with the target, and it's just a practice, you know, just almost like muscle memory. And he just lines up the shot and just fires, so that shot just rings out as it goes across. Tearing into the flesh of the uh, the creatures attacking Devlin. 
All right, yeah, you pierce it, and there's they're just lined up for you. You you take out a few at once with one shot, and Devlin takes the opportunity with Keth and um and I'm sorry, tenacity, all help in the same situation. Take advantage of the moment. Make sure the other ones are laid low, as you all grab Devlin and the the you meet all meet up survivors that you have you do see the school is quickly filling up and that the only chance of survival at this point is to evacuate so it, you take the one the uh group in the school with you okay yeah gather what survivors you can and you escape the flooding city Is there higher ground, or is the city all relatively flat and it's all getting filled up? It's all getting filled up. There is a um, a tunnel line that you're going to where the water is pouring into, but it's the closest means of getting out. You know what to be called the pulse line. Uh, and we'll actually utilize a map just for funsies. Um, it's not super important here, but it's a cool visual. Do the underground inhabitants call these tunnels veins? <laughs> uh, that would be cute, but no. This is just called the... I think that's a little too on the nose. The pulse vein and heart? No, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Construction of the pulse line was intended to join the underground remission train network above ground portion and also power the entire system by tapping into heart itself it went dreadfully wrong and unleashed the monstrous energies of the city beneath through the remission warping it permanently and rendering usable at best uh, rendering it unusable at best and malevolently dangerous at worst now part of it forms a stable connection between Deves and the temple of moon beneath or it did, at least, until it began flooding with ways deep uh, uh, seawater about an hour ago. Uh, as you enter the water, uh, you you see flickering mage lights illuminating filthy salt water. And uh, by forward. now, Quinn has sort of gotten off of her hammer while everyone else is doing stuff. She's doing what? I'm sorry? Or he's doing what? Uh, well, by now, Quinn has, you know, Quinn's been sitting on her hammer, but she's finally gotten up while everyone else is acting. And she's going to delve ahead into the tunnel to try to clear the way for everyone else. Okay. It's potentially dangerous. Oh, I'm, uh, and I'm sorry, I didn't make this clear. So with his attack, he hit the five resistance of the scenario, which uh, pretty much effectively ended combat. And, and uh, you guys were able to pretty much proceed. It is kind of like... I, I know why people compare this a lot now to Darkest Dungeon. Because it, there's it's it's literally that you're presented with a puzzle. And whether it's in the form of combat or, or maze or, or a literal puzzle. And if you meet the requirements, you progress onto the next hex. Um, that you can see on the map. It's literally like a interconnecting hex, which you'll see as we progress. Um, I don't know why the first thing that popped into my head when I saw this map was Settlers of Catan. No idea why. <laughs> Hexagons, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is actually, we should actually be here as we enter the first delve, is what they're called. So you're, when you're um, going through havens, they're interconnected with delves, and that's when things start getting really messed As you're all judging through hey, the water, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say as uh, as we're kind of corralling these uh, these survivors and stuff and retreating back, I make sure to hand the jar with the moth to Lind. Just keeping it very safe and very. And, and then, like, grabs into his pack and takes a swig of the uh, rot gut liquor that I carry along with myself, and then quickly stash that back into my pack. I'm thinking, same as Quinn, I want to, like, push ahead, maybe sneak a bit up ahead, check for dangers. Okay. Not I am going say, to... Just reload. I'm going to reload my breach 
uh, pistol and just shout to the rest. Know that mother's watching. She's taking care of us. Keep moving. That's all. Been doing a bang up job so far. In a surprise, <laughs> the mother's not the only one watching. She comes, not the mother, but the queen. Uh, and uh, Enith keeps on. I don't know how much water there is over by us, but if there's any substantial amount, uh, Enith keeps kind of dipping his head under the water for some unknown reason and then popping back up several minutes later. <laughs> yeah, it's quickly becoming waist deep. So, uh, picture, and that's quite a lot of water because picture basically in a large kind of subway you can as you progress that is the sound of your own voice rushing water and the crying of children is all that you hear it grows eerily quiet from the screams from the town prior you pass by a large bulkhead on the side of the tunnel you see it's bustling right now brimming a where probably were some screws or or something fastening the bulkhead you literally see water and I'm sputtering out at high pressure. Pass by. You continue on. Um, the only way that this leads right now is to the Temple of the Moon. So that's probably going to be your next possible safe haven. You all pass by. And, the, and a little bit further behind you. Maybe now 20 yards. The bullhead finally. Your giveaway. Loud <laughs> crash. As gushing water fills the tunnel and pushes you all off your feet as you begin to hurl down uh, the tunnel pathway. Water is rapidly filling up the tunnel now and you're all spinning out of control, swimming with the current if you can or trying to. Some of you suddenly feel things grab at your feet, you kick it aside and you see hands coming up out of the water. Monstrous, ghoulish hands. What do you all do? Monstrous, Gosh. monstrous, ghoulish hands. Oh, I am oh. definitely slashing. Like I take a take my blade and I'm immediately trying to swat them away from anyone who might be more innocent. Um, I'm running around gathering up shit as many of the kids to move them away from these hands as I can. Like one under each arm, okay, one, one in my fucking jaw. One person at a time. We gotta do the rolls each time and then we'll move on to the next one. Now, if you're attacking, it's the same, it's gonna be the same old thing, man. Uh, well, let me see, actually. I'll give you an option to either cut the hands or just try to keep away from them. Um, keeping away from them would be an evade and a cult instead. Uh, I think I want to do more so uh, kill if I can, if that's okay. alright. If not, then I'll... Alright, cool. Alright, so standard kill kill uh against uh what is the domain a cult cult your internet's dying on you bruh success <laughs> roll of damage all right cool beautiful now you want that six come on baby hey. oh <laughs> Something grabs you, submerge your head underneath the dark salt water and see an undead creature clasping at you. You swiftly strike it right through the skull. Away. Away, yes. I say. What did you say you were doing? Pondering. So, as Keth ponders... <laughs> You guys see something much larger jump out of the wall. Large, what I can, I can only describe as a large bass. Had a, if a, a giant bass had a baby with a slug. Teeth. 
comes out of the water on top of one of the civilians of the vest, <sighs> crashes down, grabs them, brings it under with. As you continue rushing forward faster and faster, you see at the end of the tunnel, it looks like a cave-in. And the water begins collecting. The tunnel begins filling. Anybody? I would like you to... all in the court of the drowned queen. <laughs> Quinn would like to use a pneumatic hammer. Just, you know, charge up a whole lot of force and smash through the cave-in. Uh, yeah, th th that would probably be an impossible task. It's literally gauged by standard, risky, dangerous, and impossible. This is a large, huge submarine, uh, um, uh, submarine and tunnel that's had a cave in. Okay, in that case, uh, the vermission is my domain. I'm going to look around, see if there's any panels that I can access, any uh, railways, any control cabs, any... Is there any useful, manipulatable interface I can Absolutely. Work? Smart thinking. Uh, go ahead and give me a discern in technology. I have technology, but not discern. Ooh. Very nice. Oh. oh. Hello. We're all going to hit a crit working. success. We had a few bumps in the beginning. We're we're getting there. Yeah, now the dice are <laughs> <up a> little. <laughs> we're, we're ramp amping it up. You know, mm -hmm. it'll get to that point. Don't worry. So, um, increase outgoing stress by a dice step. Okay, that bumps our d4 up to a d6. Roll d6 for me, please. Please. Very good. Um, what? It, roll your stress? Oh, I, I rolled incoming stress instead of outgoing stress. <laughs> no worries. Um, so let's see. And I'll tell you guys, this area has resistance of ten. All right. You discern uh, that you look at maintenance codes that are tunnel as you're trying to tread water and you realize where you are. You know that there is a hatch at the bottom. You might be able to pull the lever that opens the hatch. It's more of a vent, really. When the vent pops open, it might drain the water. But you will have to dive down. I will absolutely Jesus. dive down to do this right away. Alright, and before we dive down, which I'll tell you right now, if you want to get the roll out of the way, is going to be an Endor and Warren test. Somebody else, what actions? Uh, well, uh, I am... Oh, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Gethin's just, like, first of all, clocking where Lynn's location is, and then the goal is to basically evade while we try to figure out what our next step is. So I want to both evade for myself and then if I can try to steer anything away from Lind. Hey, yeah, that's going to be an evade in cold. Okay. Nope. <sighs> so, dress is D4. D4, yeah. Um, I think we go with fortune on this. Uh, I see. I would say that's blood. Okay. You're trying to evade things attacking, y'all. Right. All right. No fallout. So, yeah, basically at that point, what I'm doing is like corralling Lynn, but at the same time, some of these grasping claws are coming out and they're clawing away at my armor and, and my arms as I'm like trying to just push her away. Love it. 
and, and not everybody has to go. Uh, so if anybody wants to go now, you don't have. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm fascinated by all this, and so I'm going to, uh, you know, just going to dip down under the water and attempt to study once more the enchantment, um, in particular where the fish slug emerged out of the the drowned queen's domain trying to uh, understand the nature of the gateway there again because he would like to ultimately hijack it um well okay no, there's a lot there so if you're trying to <laughs> find the the slug that's going to be something specific if you're trying to well you already know kind of what the water is about i guess i'm confused um well so where the slug like it came out of i'm guessing some type of portal or something like the water wasn't in the subway tunnel before. It's true. So that'll be a hunt in wild back. All right. That's going to be a straight D10 then. Uh, well, and for the sake of before. for the sake of of our one shot since we're all we're all playing this uh, I think for the first time but um, if I tell you what a uh, check might incur, you don't have to roll. I mean, because you, you're rolling 1d10, good chance that you might get, incur stress. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think in this case I would force it because I've got that fascination fallout. But, uh... Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> God okay. damn! That'll be that'll be another mind. All right. Failure. Mind. And that's about to go fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a bit to to, to kill you. All right, let's see if we get more fallout. Uh, should I roll that? Yes, yes, please. Yep. Right. Good, nice, best Ooh. best possible roll there. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, you've lost the slug in the blackness of the water, and you're unable to quite discern its location as it jumps out of the water again as you're looking for it, down, back again on another survivor. This time, a, this time, a, a girl that could be no older than six. After this, I have to step up the slug. darkness. I think you know. I feel like it's not grim enough. <laughs> After this fish slug thing kills one of the kids, I'm gonna try and split that motherfucker in two if I can. Um, yeah, that'll be a hunt wild. Cause you, yeah, you're trying to find him. Standard difficulty or risky? I'm I'm being nice. I haven't really told anybody in difficulty with these yet, but we'll keep it standard until we get to our next delve. How about that? All right. Funny that we have a character named uh, Ro. Because that when you described this fish slug thing, I got reminded of Moreau from Resident Evil Village. You're making all the references tonight. <laughs> all all the Why references. Not? So many. <laughs> Just All right. Good references. Reminding me of good references. <laughs> All right, that is a success. Uh, uh, give me a d6, please. All right. Beautiful. Oh, oh, I need to track these uh, rolls. The other one was a four on your d6, I think, wasn't it? Hold on. My mind or no? This was the other, the initial successful roll from our permission night. It was four. Yeah, from Quinn, uh, about three or four rolls up. Let me make sure I got a track here. So, all right. Seven, seven out of ten. Chiseling away. Uh, Mr. Keth, yeah, you dive down and you see where the the slugfish is. You quickly spot, speed over to it and chop it promptly in half, releasing the small girl who's still alive from the clutches. Oh, yeah, but... All right, now, what we've all been waiting for 
the Endoran Warren check from our Vermission Knight. Would you guys say yes. ver, Vermission or ver, uh, ver, Vermission with, with Vermission. that? Vermission. Because of the double that. Fs, I think it makes it Vermission. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, can I make a case for Delve instead of Endure? Since I'm like... Let's Delving see. Down. Delve. Well, Delve is a specific thing in this. Um, oh. It's to when you're in dangerous and unknown territory, which you're not. You're in unknown territory. Gotcha. Um, and it actually specifically gives me examples of what you guys might do. Like, I kind of gave you guys all examples before. All of these are examples, too. And it specifically actually says in Okay. Uh, I'm rolling that. And, it, and looking at the example of what a, a Warren defines as in the game, it makes sense. A Warren is a cramped and dense corridor. Absolutely. All right, that is a failure. All what right. Kind of stress am I taking? Am I just uh, strangulating? Yeah, a year, this would be more f of a physical thing. So distance it's here. Yeah, so, blood. Alright. Oh, no. I am this, and... <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, no. Why is this not automatically scrolling down? Alright, let me look at your fallouts yeah, here. Sometimes it's scrolling down, sometimes it's not. It's... <laughs> right? That's, that's weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, I think, well, yeah, see, yeah. these are really easy with blood, because they're all pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to give you winded as you dive down and accidentally kind of inhale some salt water. You quickly go back up and cough it out, and you get a bit winded. There. But you know what to do. You know that th that looks like your only means of not drowning is to open up that vent. I will convey that to the party. Godlike. There's a lever down there. <laughs> the voices today are great. <laughs> Captain Winky, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, welcome. All right. Um, you have your heading, Captain. What do the rest of you do? As you see our, uh, as you see Quinn pop back out of the water and yell that, coughing up salt water. How does helping work in this game? You may help somebody and you give them an extra die to their pool. No. But if can multiple people do that as well? Or is it just like only one person is capable of helping? Uh I wanna say off the top of my head it's just an extra die. Uh let me double check though. I feel like it might bump that up. The catch is that if, like... if we take stress, we all take stress. Oh, is that how it goes? I feel, like, oh. I feel like tenacity would definitely want to try to help in this situation as well. Tenacious, ain't you? <laughs> I've been tenacity. waiting. I've been waiting. <laughs> You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Which was one of us? Who? Who's? Is it me or is it today? <laughs> Off goes. Uh. Committed separately. Uh, Fantastic. Let's go with an extra dice for now while I look this up. Uh, I did not see this in, in the uh, quick star rules. So, checking right now. Okay. Or if anyone knows, like, by all means, again, all learning here. If you guys know a rule, do it, you don't feel like you're stepping on my toes. By all means. We're all hand in hand. I'm looking for it. I assume it's only one. Because um, the roll mechanic or the roll button on this lets you choose one character to add when you make the roll. Yeah, I so I don't think one. it lets you do more than one. Just from the Wait, mechanics so of uh, Foundry. Makes sense. Yeah, and uh, a, a one extra die is pretty huge when it, in this yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah. So would this be uh, under a skill if we roll to help? I think you just declare your help because the you, risk yeah, is you, you may get stress. You're, you're letting someone roll for you, basically, but, but giving them an extra die. All right, cool. Yeah, def 
definitely like rushing through the water, like wading through it, and then going to assist. However much it feels like, it's a thing encouraging to be like, yeah, you only want to help people that already have a decent chance to succeed at this. Thing. <laughs> Just so you don't get stressed. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Is anybody like a good swimmer? One so. Oh, don't, I don't have anything oh, special yeah. for it. Or endure, I guess. Kef, uh, something grabs at you. Uh, please give me a either ill occult or a Veda cult. Oh, boy. Water uh, continues to fill up in the room that you're in right now, almost to the top. Towns people that are still surviving or panicking. Go for a kill occult. Because I think it's more in character, but it doesn't change anything. Success at a cost, maybe. See that cost, and roll your damage. Wish I had uh, a, a let you roll a damage. Blood, I'm guessing. So lazy with foundry now. Yes, blood. <laughs> it's just too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> blood, which will only be one for me. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. that was <laughs> and you said the damage. 1d6? Or whatever your weapon is. d6, probably. Yeah. A 2. Yeah. Alright, so who's diving down? Anybody? Uh, I have a rebreather. Can I help someone by temporarily giving them my rebreather? I don't see why not. What does it do exactly? Uh, I mean, function mechanically, it would just give a D10, but I don't have my rebreather, so I'm like suffering. Uh, the the special effect of it uh, d would not help in the situation. Oh, an arcane rebreather. You possess a gas mask that filters out airborne. Yeah, no, that w I don't think that would help with the water situation. Plus two echo protection, though. Cool. The rebreather, then. Pretty good. I mean, I don't need to breathe. But I'm not too interested in draining the water either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lind will help Tenacity try to get the vent that Quinn told us about. Yeah. Okay. I am bad at all of this, so the D810 is going to be big just because <laughs> she's going to want to try to save the children and the people, the survivors. What about the children? All right. Endure Warren. Oh, think about the children. <laughs> Endure Warren. Endure Warren. Jesus. Okay, this is a really bad roll. For me. But you, you got you get two d ten though, because with the aid. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, endure, Warren. Help from uh, tenacity. Tenacity, yeah. Oh, there nice! Solid Ooh, success. Yeah. Solid six. Yeah. So. Uh, you dive down, you find a large kind of lever sticking out of the ground and a large closed plated vent. Uh, we're going to ignore the science here because this would normally probably kill you uh, from the suction force. But you open up the vent and the water begins gushing out and the whole room begins to drain. Uh, as the, the room drains out, you see just a bunch of nasty, bloated corpses everywhere. Now in plain view as the water drains out of the tunnel. Um, none of them are moving anymore. You see the ones that have been struck probably by Keth and the others as you guys are trying to survive and the slug fish cut in half as well. Let's see here. Now, um, once you succeed, also in a delve, you get to reap the rewards of it. You gain the following resources. I'm Ace this in chat for you. Now that the water has been drained, you do see a small nook in the rubble of the collapsed tunnel where each of you can just barely squeeze through. Um, so yeah, that's two items there. Up to you guys how you want to distribute them. 
Um, we are almost at our hour point. <laughs> so, all right, moving on to the Temple of Beef. Um, little flavor on the Temple of the Moon. Two hundred years ago, the Church of the Moon was driven out of the city above and into Heart. A week-long purge of fire and terror by the occupying Elfers forces. Uh, since then, they have rebuilt their once well, glorious. One-sided. Yeah, Another pretty one. That story. <laughs> <laughs> rebuilt their once glorious temple and the city beneath. Uh, the stones and beams of the structure were smuggled down by pilgrims or recreated by skilled artisans, and the temple stands once more, mismatched and patched together, but surviving. After their descent, the drow of the Temple of the Moon began to distrust the sky, believing it to be distant, changeable, and uncaring. Their now useless telescopes were dismantled, and followers instead sought wisdom in the true moon, of which they had dreamed since they arrived in the heart, that which dwelled far beneath the earth, a luminous and fecund mistress, of which the fitting phantom in the heavens was but a pale imitation. The Church of the Moon Beneath as it was now called, sent the faithful down into the depths, searching for more insights and visions from their true goddess. Of late, the mercenary hounds have been drafted and to protect the temple against attacks from saboteurs looking to submerge the temple, the temple in the same way as the Vess was lost. The streets surrounding the temple are uh, tense as both groups attempt to be the one that's in charge of the situation. As you all approach the temple, you see uh, barricades and checkpoints being controlled by the hounds. As you come near, <clears throat> you see a caravan of pilgrims uh, traveling past you. You see um, one currently uh, being, looks like an interrogation by one of the hounds, a family of See an old woman also uh, that stands out to you. That although some have been turned away, she casually walks through the checkpoint. She's being supported by two canes at the moment, and you see a notable pistol at her side. As you let's see, as you get closer, you see that the family being questioned is deeply impoverished. The hounds who are accosting them, you hear them yell out, Saboteurs! You're the ones stealing our provisions! It's you! Who else would it be? And you see one with the butt of his rifle strike one of the members of the family in the gut, bringing them to their knees. Quickly, other pilgrims begin to dispute, and an uproar of sorts begins. A couple more hounds approach the situation. But as this is going on, a cloaked figure approaches the group, wearing, uh, but not the cloaks that you've seen before. This is a gray and tattered cloak and something on their back. It becomes clear as they approach the crowd of hounds, they drop the corpse of a vassal down with a splat. The person removes their hood to reveal that they are also of the hounds. I found one of these on the outskirts. They're getting more in numbers as the days go by. You with your it's survivors. Two voice for that for tugs. I, I don't know. Is it? I, 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 uh, yeah, I can it only is, have so many voices it. in my head. No, I love it because I've just noticed the trend. It's, it's a great voice, but I'm just surprised <laughs> that that's what you default to without realizing. I don't. I don't really. Um. You, with your survivors, looking for some kind of salvation for them, a place for them to figure out their lives, seemingly have found it. But you'll need to get into the temple to do so. What do you all do? Obviously, a few of you are wounded in various ways as well and need rest yourselves. Uh, Gethin, like walks up towards the, the other hounds and he's got his badge with him and he's just like 
Yes, we have uh, some survivors that came from the incident. We he, seek refuge. The guards at the checkpoint see your badge and without question wave beyond four. I'm just waving the rest of the group in. As we pass, uh, Tenacity goes, with her six eyes, they all watch. Mother sees you. Be safe. Thank you. Yeah, as we're passing one of the guards, I just can't randomly, like, his head perks up and he's like, Take a shower! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stink! That, that's rich coming from a knoll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little stinker. Inith pauses by the corpse of the vassal, the recorpsed, the even deader corpse. As a, where do you gather these? I offer my expertise to examine them. I don't typically gather them at all. Burn them if need be. Or leave them where they are. I just felt that people here, including my own comrades, need a reminder of while we're here. Instead of causing trouble, kind of eyes the other hound that butted with his rifle, one of the civilians. Yes, very, very wise. Uh, so please lift this one up and bring it with us. I don't take orders from you. Very well. Looks around. Jeff, help, help me pick this up. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just looking straight at you, like, no. I, I was priceless. I can see you like thinking about what to say. That that it was just no. That comes out. That's perfect. <laughs> Muttering, Elfer curses behind his mask. Uh, if struggles and attempts to lumber the the remains of the vassal onto his back and stagger after the others. I'm I'm going to actually try to assist. And <laughs> you feel some hands like assist you. you the, the weight Where is, is he there. feeling those hands? <laughs> <laughs> as limbo his limber he's giving him limbar support. Yeah. He just hold on Let me be your feet. gaming chair. <laughs> And as he's just holding on his butt cheeks. <laughs> no. no, I actually do uh, go out of my way to help you. You know, kind of grinds his teeth at a, a follower of the Queen of the Moon helping, but begrudgingly says thank you. You guys carried the, dr the, uh, the drowned vassal. A figure really follows behind you. That's the checkpoint. Um, also, clearly, another hound full of large rifle approaches you. Figure, though, is wearing a mask. Mask that is kind of like one of those white theatrical masks, but has tribal painting. You lot, what are you doing with that? You immediately recognize this as a high elf. Um, so probably similar to the mask I'm wearing. But, uh, uh... Taking it to examine it. What do you know about examining dead things? It's not what we know, it's just where we're taking it to. To help get it examined. Do you know what these things are? Who are you all? We were, we were at the fall of Deves. Killed a bunch of these things. That's such a fun voice, I love it. <laughs> Some am, great voices here tonight, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Real. I'm in a Dunaran. Dunaran. They know me by my works in the Spire. From the you're from above. 
It's been a while. I am Captain Whispers the Worm. You could aid us, that would be most grateful. He kind of motions for two other guards to come up to him. Help them carry this thing up. Do whatever they ask of you. Two of the guards try to take the dead body off your hands. Yeah, it gives a little wheeze as it's taken off of him. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the crack of my back as they let go and I'm like, oh, okay. thank you. Thank you. By the grace of mother. Thank you. Catch just like looking down and mumbling to himself. Knife here. Not rude. Surprise. Uh, let's let's relax now. We have all the time. Be careful with that. It's been heavily used. As you approach the entrance to the temple, you see the woman you saw before on two canes standing there with a disgruntled. As you approach, she is in your way. And who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are all you? More hounds! More hounds! More hounds every day! Don't you think for one sec you're bringing that thing in my temple? She kind of shakes as she talks on the cane. On the canes. This one went close to death. Would I have any idea who this lady is? Um, would you? Being 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 a heretic, uh, and also uh, following underneath, you know that the church or sorry, uh, mother and all that. Would I have any inkling who she might, might be? Unless, unless specifically setting a character description, probably not. Okay. The, it's, it's of much importance. We, we, I apologize for us. Uh, 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 if I may pray tell, ask your name. Oh, you're a polite one for once. Okay, well, that's quite good. Welcome change. I am Sister Ariel. I am law keeper of the temple here. Sister Ariel. Well, Sister Ariel, we have a bit of business that forgive us for making a mess in this place, but we we must attend to this. It, it, it's of utmost importance. Specifically for the safety of this temple. Uh, the safety of this temple is what you're seeking me. You can help me with something. You two! She directs at the, the two hounds helping you. You get the fuck out of here when you're done helping them. I don't want to see you. Yes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Was that yeah, right? The hounds are really right. only there for... That was the most jersey things you've said so far. You see the two <laughs> hounds look at each other like this is not the first time they've dealt. It's a story. And kind of just sigh. Thank you for getting the fuck out of here. Help you into the temple. Uh, and they leave. You have your body. We are currently at a uh, religious haven with haunts. Haunts are places... Or you can uh, remove fallout and um, so and if you want to do that let me know it expends resources if you have them and it has to be the appropriate resource to the stress or fallout you have um, but essentially you you exchange your resource um, for the appropriate haunt there is a um, Sister Griswold's Clinic or Blood Stress, Sergeant Borealis's Bar. Technically, just a barracks, as it specifically says that, and that's fine. Purification Chambers for Echo, Author of Our Many Mothers for Fortune, and Gibbous St. Market. Which just says D6, but I'm assuming that supplies. Right. <laughs> Can I ask, um, 
based on my resources, and I, if I wanted to you know, utilize those to get rid of one of my stress, what have you, what are the uh, roles next to that? Like, if I have, for instance, uh, I have a candle that has a die six religion. Uh, what would pray tell? Like, what would I utilize that with? If essentially, I want to get that? essentially, it's worth. So, um, for the cl blood clinic, it will cost a d10 resources. Um, all of them have a die associated with them. Barracks is a D6, Purification Chamber is D6, Market's a D6, Fortune's a D6. Now, you can use supplies for this. So, when you, if you want to use supplies to um, figure one of these out, you can do that. And I roll that die to determine how much supply stress you take. So, healing your supplies is, is the only one that's a little unique in that you... Um, and kind of replenish that on the go. Um, it's removed by... It says it's removed by sharing your consumable equipment with the rest of the party. So you make a delve and whatever the applicable domain check is. And if you uh, succeed, you scavenge, get materials around the area, yada yada. Um, uh, so you can do this for others or yourself. Replenish your own supplies. But of course, it's a check, oh, so it could incur more stress. So then I could even, like, forego one of my resources for someone else. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, well, your resources are just items, essentially, so yeah. Give those to anybody if you want. Um, who, who looks, like, the most beaten up, if anybody is, right? Like, uh, who's the most stressed out or possibly just in the scenario? Is there right. a way to... I was going right, to say, go if you have ongoing stress, that is a little different. Uh, or, I'm sorry, ongoing fallouts. If any of your fallouts were ongoing, harder to deal. I, I think I read something about healing fallouts, but I forget where it was. Are you looking at the main book or the quick rules? The quick rules. Yeah, I have an ongoing with the um, boils and everything. Ongoing takes I mean, time. Mm. Oh, okay. So, like, my, my skills right now, I have uh, one kill, and then the other is mend, which I can only assume means I am capable. Yeah, you can mend on the go outside of Havens. So you can try to help someone stress and other things with mend. Um, but again, that's you possibly getting stress yourself. Um, whereas haunts, you simply exchange for the removal of a period. No. Okay, I, th I found it. Oh uh, yeah, the sorry, it was good. Sixteen. Page sixteen. Yeah, on page eighteen, I found uh, the easiest way to remove ongoing fallout is to access a haunt with the appropriate tag, and pay for their services by spending resources. It costs a D six resource to remove minor fallout and D8 to downgrade a major fallout to minor. Well, there you go. So it's just D6? And what That's is our ongoing? resource stress? Or, yeah, did it say ongoing? Yeah. Because immediate fallout just takes place immediately and then you remove it. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, what was your question, Lance? So what is the, like, I mean, if we stress our resources, quote unquote, what, like, where does that come off of? Like, whose hit points? Or, I guess I'm confused as to how the roll happens or what I'm rolling against or with. Okay, so the, you're basically negotiating a trade with uh, okay. whoever's offering you the service. So it's it changes depending on the situation. So these haunts, uh, let me go back down to the, so or what I called out. One. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what I call out earlier. So one was a D10. So that's that's kind of risky with if you're going to do a raw supplies uh, stress. Mm -hmm. But I think mine was D6 for the purification for the occult ongoing. I'm just trying to get rid of the boils. Gotcha. Uh, so tell me, me what I need to do. That I guess. Find those. All right. Um, boils were what category? Echo. D6. Yeah. 
So I just roll a d6. Yeah, I mean, unless no one, uh, somebody may have uh, a resource that they can lend you if they want to. Uh, that might be an echo well, resource. We got the. Oh, okay, no, that's not echo. I was going to say we got the mage light and well, speared vassal limbs, but yeah, and I have a haven one and cult. I don't but have echo, one for echo. Echo isn't a isn't a domain. It's a type of. Oh resource. yeah, this is a domain, not a damage type. I think I could be wrong. I think I think what it's saying is we go to the was it was it the cave or the temple or something that heals echo stress and we give them a d6 resource. That's what I how I'm interpreting it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have resource. I have a d6 resource that I can give up to cure the boils. Like you're just exchanging. Okay. You're just paying them pretty much for it. So I don't yeah. think so. Okay. Tattered finery, a silk scarf, worn jewelry, etc., to heal her boils. So I delete both of those. Both of them? Well, I mean, I delete the resource, don't I? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you're you were saying yeah, you had I'm two fallouts. The resource. Yeah. No, I'm deleting the resource to get rid of the the ongoing boils. Yeah. So they're both gone. Okay. They're off my sheet. Um, can I potentially satisfy my fascination with some time spent working over the drowned vassal? Specifically says haunt. You got to use a haunt. Okay. I, if anything, that would only fuel it. It also says ongoing fallout is removed over time as the situation changes, as opposed to the clearing stress. But, uh, How long do you want to spend studying it? I don't know how long we're going to stay here, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I could go spend a few hours or something. I don't know if that would be enough, or maybe a check or, or something. Or I could go to the haunt and trade a resource, but... Like an opportunity. That's that's an interesting question. Like, how long does winded last? Do I get yeah. pneumonia from permanently, or? Yeah, I'm looking at the kind of the full layout of Fallout, or removing it rather. Easiest way is a hot, not totally. I have mend as well, so I could definitely help Tenacity heal somebody if we needed to. And on top of that, uh, I do have what's called uh, ministrations. Uh, I can remove one minor blood or mind fallout or downgrade one major blood and minor mind fallout or minor. Uh, I have a lot of uh, assisting type of abilities. Uh, I don't know if any of those would actually assist, though. Well, that could help the mind uh, fall out. Yeah, as that could remove mind. So, yeah, it, can... ultimately, it, it does say that it, it's it's depends on the GM, uh, depending on the situation. So, I think that's fair. You're gonna if y'all are gonna camp out here for a little bit, and you're gonna spend the time looking at this uh, corpse. I think that's fair. Um, I also do have some mind stress as well, so I still might want to go to the hunt and try and get that cleared. Yo, anyone want to go visit the in-between world with me, just for fun? <laughs> <laughs> so, visit yes. the what? The gray. I can travel between uh, this world and the world between death and life. Are you just now looking at your abilities, damn it? No, I'm just, I've been looking at that and I'm like, when the fuck am I ever going to be able to use that here? <laughs> they, they'd be more than happy. Alright, anybody else using the haunt? Or healing, or doing, or uh, what have I you? I have blood stress, but I think the cost is a little too steep for me. That is a lot for blood. Right, and uh, I'll just get out and murder stuff, because I, I reduce stress by killing things, so. Oh, I was going to say, you can mend too, uh, but that might be better to just kill things. I'm willing to mend if people want it. 
Uh, I ha I'm winded. Can I either... Can, can I help the, the men to check on myself by, like, chilling out? Wasn't winded a instant one? Shouldn't that have disappeared? Or is it gone already? Or is it, it gone? Should be gone from the delve, I would, uh, after, after you pass the delve, rather. Okay. Right. Kind of so, honestly, it feels like it's kind of hard to die in this game. It's chaotic, but it's kind of hard to die. Uh, yeah, but then again, well, once we get more stress, like then we'll be seven. in trouble. Yeah, yeah when we start stress. rolling d6s and d8s and stuff. I'll knock on wood. <laughs> we'll figure it out after we yeah. go along. <laughs> Lance, if you're offering to do a mend on me, I, I sure. can take one. I've got yeah, two I mean, blood stress, I could get rid of one. Tenacity and Lind can assist each other in, in doing a mend check, if necessary. I can mend I each can other. Do. Sure. Absolutely. Alright, so what role do we need for that? What kind of type are you mending? It would be blood for me. And on me. Uh, that is a mend. Where are we? On you? What is your domain? Let's see your air sheet. Um, we have to heal using his domain. No, it's circumstantial. Oh, okay. You got Where'd hit. The wound come? Well, still, yeah. I was gonna say it, is, it came from an occult, so I'd say mend occult. Cool. All I right. have both of those. So if I can get help from tenacity, I can roll a bunch. Absolutely, I can. All right. Um, uh, do I technically have mastery over mend because of the mark uh, uh, on my skills? Or is that a no? Well, I'm making the roll, so I think you're just giving me an extra d10. Mastery oh. is if you gain that skill again, you can get mastery over a specific use of the skill. Junior GM is Wonderful. correct. Absolute. <laughs> that's why he's Junior yeah. GM. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, I don't get why that's a nickname, and then, I <laughs> and then I remember why. It hardly feels like a nickname at this point. It feels like... <laughs> A legitimate like license. I like I like to look at it as an honorary title. Ah, yeah, there you go. Speaking of which, uh, I may actually be jam jamming a game for a couple of my friends at some point. Uh, next <gasps> I don't believe it. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> hey, I crit healed Kath, so. Holy shit! Holy <laughs> shit. Well, the criticals That's bump up the stress die, so I'm not sure how that would be relevant. I guess any other rolls in this uh, haven will be bumped up a, a die. <laughs> cool. Did that just take away all of my blood stress, or just one point of it? Uh. That's a good question. Healing. Or do I roll to remove stress? I think there's stress? a roll for it. Like how much damage you remove based on a number, so that dice would be higher. Yeah, a successful action removes D4 stress, and characters can increase this amount with suitable equipment. So if you have like a like a med kit, you it might say like D6 heal or something. Or the crit success bumps me to a D6. Uh, a successful a action mm -hmm. removes D4 stress. Huh? Yeah. The so D6 for specific, the crit. How, how do I roll specific dice in Foundry? Uh, slash R space and then one D six. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, Very nice. Go. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Damn, you're a good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We're good doctors. It's Tenacity and Lynn together. They're like helping nice. you out. I, I think Tenacity is more of a nurse in the situation. That's true. <laughs> I think yes, <laughs> him then. Like, <laughs> they're like looking at each other and they're just like doctor 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 doctor, doctor, doctor. <laughs> as you're uh you guys have been going about your day healing um and conducting expert surgery um sister ariel approaches the, the group you said you son of a bitches wanted to help the temple earlier is that still uh true absolutely well, I would love yes. nothing more than get these fucking hounds out of here. They're interfering with all the temple business, and they're stinking up the place. 
Maybe you I'm, all could help me with it. I'm right here, lady. Oh, that's what that smell was. Yes. Uh, I'll forgive smell. you this time if you help me. They're, they're standing right next to you. You, can't <laughs> know that. you think I don't know that little one? Now listen up. Where are you? They're here to protect the temple, but if there was something here to protect the temple more than they could, they would get the fuck out of my sight, and I would very much greatly appreciate that. Problem is, I need a warding stone for this to happen. Last I saw, there was one at the Rat Monk Stepwell. You go there and get the warding stone for me? I could make it worth your while. She, uh, holds out a big bag and kind of opens a little bit for you and you see glimmering silver and they're a big bag of silver. Essentially for you players that is a uh, D10 of moon stamped pieces of silver. It's a D10 religion if you want the bag but pretty good bounty. Um, go to the step well. Get me the ward and this is yours. Sorry, did you say rat monks? Oh, they're not there anymore. They've been gone for a while. Everyone says that they've been gone for a while, but they tend to still be there. Oh, look at you all, though. You made it out of the vest. You brought these civilians back. Surely you can handle yourself. Get me the warding stone with the warding runes on it. And it's yours. Yes, ma'am. I mean... I like this one. Good manners, and he's compliant. Maybe the rest of you could learn something from them. I'm this one's wet. <laughs> she squints her eyes at you. Whatever. All right. Well, that, that's <laughs> great. All right. Um, then we should take our leave, then. Under the eyes of the and the queen herself, we will take care of this, won't we? Hmm. <laughs> Let's get it done. Just you know, the way to get to the step well, you have to pass through the. Uh, <laughs> well, the the rat monks aren't at the step well anymore, but they've taken up residence in the pathway there. Just to be, just be careful as you go. There right. it is. Right. <laughs> right. Somebody I, called it. I like I like whisper to whoever's close as I go. Did she just say that their residence not there anymore and now that she's also saying that their residence like they're that outside. Means, it's they're okay. To, you pass by grip to, station to, first on your way to Stepwell. There you can rest, I'm sure, if they let you in. But uh, yes, uh, it used to be safe going to the station, but yeah, these cursed cultists have taken over the pathway there. If you're uh, quick, you could probably just talk your way out of anything. They're not barbarians, but they've been known to be bloodthirsty at times. <laughs> well, Sister Ariette, uh, most places aren't safe anymore this point, but we can get this done for you. Do not worry. Rat monk, sound tasty. Oh, and look, we can even have a meal after the fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, go to Grip Station, and from there you'll be able to descend down the thousand steps to the step well. It's a short trip. Why is there always a thousand steps every time? Oh, they just say that because the steps are all over the walls and the ceiling and everywhere. But you're not going down that many. Don't worry. Ah, uh, sounds like bad architectural design. <laughs> you are very insightful, Keth. But let's not worry about numbers, shall we? Let's get it done. How about I made sure to know architecture. <laughs> you, maybe you should have gone to some kind of school for the anyway never mind <laughs> i will 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 be on our way appreciate um your assistance and we shall get it done and the payment please by 
mother's eyes. Please. Ah, money well spent if you get these nasty fucking hounds out. Uh, no offense, dear. She gesturing towards good. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> With the middle finger up. <laughs> oh god, I love this lady. Uh, any more? Uh, okay, um, no, good time to bring up. Also, you can you can buy resources too if you like. Um, literally, your you can buy weapons and other things, anything you want. The resources you have are what they're worth as well. Uh, where can we find these resources? In in foundry. Yeah, uh, um, I don't know in Foundry, but they're in the Quick Start. Yeah, they're on the character sheet under equipment. Well, I'm saying new things. If you want to get new equipment, oh. new resources, there's all sorts of things ranging from D4 uh, to D10. Yeah, you can. Um. Medical kit. would actually like to go and get a sword since he doesn't want to rely just on his firearm. Page 28, tools, weapons, and resources. So, sword is, yeah, it's a D8. Yeah. Uh, and it's the I, same uh, thing with haunts. Like, you can burn stress with supplies. Uh, and that uh, essentially is the uh, abstract form of you negotiating, you know, right. with a tradesperson. Yeah. Or you can so use... I will... Yeah, I'll try to do that. I'm going to negotiate with supplies and... I can help you. Try to acquire a, a sword. Do you need me to help you? Um, pat, pat in here on the head. I can convince yeah. them to help you. <laughs> Well, uh, um, I I will take any any assistance. I have the um, skill that I can add to assist. Uh, I, that's what I don't think there's. It's not like a skill check. He's it's yeah, just the it's just die the roll. Cost, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So okay. I do the. But you just the roll stress. You click roll stress on your character sheet. I think. Gotcha. So uh, a D eight. On to supplies. Could could have been worse. Yeah. Now the question is, do we roll Fallout on that? I uh, know. I don't, I'm, I don't think so. Okay. That'd be insane. Like you couldn't buy anything yeah. ever. I, I you you break your you, you break your leg arm. trying to. Hey. <laughs> so, Sean. How do you say we fix supply stress again? Uh, you you will you do a check, essentially, and uh, I can find that check for. You. But you basically you just do a check to ga like to scavenge or share your supplies and spread amongst the group. Okay. So, uh, for a weapon, would, I'm assuming the D8 beside that is the damage as yes. well as what you roll. No, no, not I necessarily. It will tell you the the what the damage is and the suggested cost. It might normally be the same, but it's not default same. Yeah, because I kind of want to get a more deadly blade here, like a great sword or some shit. Uh, over a D8 melee weapon instead of a D6 one. And I was wondering, instead of rolling the max stress there, could I trade in my fucking current you can trade, sword to You can trade in an equivalent thing that's worth yeah well, if it well, if I'm it's worth it. to tr so my ritual blade is a d6 so i'm wondering if i were to try and get a d8 weapon could i step trade it down it in and reduce the amount for the stress roll yeah minimum is a d4 though okay and all right and um uh, Quinn, uh, you'd roll Delve plus whatever the domain is. So we're at a temple right now, so that'd be religion. Is that the right domain? Religion's a domain, right? Oh. For... So it would be a D8 stress normally for me to get this. But with me trying to uh... lower two die steps or just the one? 
whatever what is the sword you you have what's the die on it it's a d6 so it would do a d6 but it only can go as low as a d4 does that make sense okay so the die steps are d4 d6 d8 so a d6 would what just i see what you're saying that is that's worth two die steps. I think that'd bring it down to a okay. default. Okay, cool. Cool. Which you almost got the maximum. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's worth it. <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, cool. yes, well, that I'm guy says, that. hey, I know that Monkey Moto guy. <laughs> Who said that? Huh. So the, the hookah, when you smoke it, it makes it provides cover from range attacks. I mean, that's what it does to me in real life. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, yeah, if you if you don't know your own movements after getting high, then there's no way the enemy can predict them to shoot at you. Hook, most hookahs are tobacco. Okay. It it also decreases your own outgoing range attacks, so that makes sense. So maybe not that hookah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do know most of tobacco. I've smoked the hookah before. I had to stop when my kid was born. Smoking way too much sh shisha every day. Yeah, I got I got to smoke one during my school's graduation party. It was fun. Anybody else uh, healing or buying things? Yeah, I'd like to buy a God Smoke hookah. God Smoke, nice. <laughs> okay. Do you have any I questions? Have weapon, I won't. What? I was going to just say if you have any questions about what you need to do to purchase it. Um, can I can I turn in a D6 resource and not take stress then? Minimum stress you'll okay. have to roll is always a D4. Okay. Well, unless it's equivalent. So, well, no, that's not true. I'm sorry. So if it's a D4 or a D6, you can turn in huh. a D6 item and that will pay for it. Okay, yeah, it's a D6. Okay. So I'll I'll trade my bag of mysterious coins for the hookah. This works because that's literally money you just gave. <laughs> All right. Yeah, your resources are sometimes literally like jewels, coins, like actual money. It's just the world of heart is so chaotic. There's not one currency. So earlier, at the start of the session, I made up god smoke as a drug that makes you like pray and sing praises and stuff but apparently that's an actual thing and i'm assuming it doesn't do that <laughs> it sounds like a, a hard version of weed to me so i don't it, think so yeah it reminds me of uh i don't remember what game it is but in that there is literally just weed and it's called god leaf because it makes you fucking <laughs> see god. god that weed is now god leaf it's canon all right, anybody else? Yeah, I, I'm gonna get some drugs. Right, while we're on the topic, let's do it. <laughs> That's a, uh, make uh, that, uh, make that your uh, alert. May I partake in some drugs? <laughs> <laughs> One drug. I would like to please. buy a drug. <laughs> your <laughs> finest <laughs> drug, <laughs> please, sir. Uh. <laughs> could I have? Uh, could I have a dash of drugs, huh? If you guys are narcs, you have to tell me. <laughs> it's obvious. It's obvious. You actually have to tell me because that's just no. It's the law. You have to tell me if you're a cop. It's illegal if you don't tell me you're a cop, dude. <laughs> Where did that myth even come from? I don't TV. <laughs> Probably cops to trick people yeah. into being idiots. Yeah. Alright, so I need to roll uh, supply. Dress. Yeah, yeah. If you're not buying it with any anything else, yeah. No, I I want to keep my useless resources because they're thematic. Well. And uh, and I guess I will. They'll try and go to the haunt if I have time and trade in maybe my wax and similac to clear my existing mind stress. 
Okay. It's a D4. I've got three stress, so I assume that's fine. After acquiring my stuff, I'm going to like kind of sit aside with Lind and sit down, and it's just... All right, so we're going to deal with these rat monks, but... I mean, we should probably be keeping an eye open for stuff for Felix, too. Mm. I don't know if it'll be enough to reduce your debt to nothing. Uh, every bit helps and, and get out of this hole faster. Why would the rat monks leave their temple? Did something move into their place? You know, I had a similar thought, and... <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like the way this smells and I'm not talking about the dead fish people that we just dealt with mm. as you said smells you just hear off in the distance <laughs> fucking cat sounding smell <laughs> listen every time you smell something doesn't mean you have to out have an outburst we can talk about smells later <laughs> right now it's not important ooh Don't what's gonna... that smell cat probably <laughs> <laughs> don't yell cat you're going to pull out your stitches Calm down. Take a moment. <laughs> Breathe in something that doesn't smell. But uh, every time I shout out one of these things, just imagine Cat just like doing the pause, dash his head up. Like, squirrel! Squirrel! Yeah, relax. Jeez. <laughs> Did you already yes. do your um your your roll zenith for the uh, for the haunt? Uh, sorry, which role do I need to do for the other hunt? For the, oh, no, the, no, no, the okay, yeah, you, no, you, you did your, your supply check for Echo already, right? Yeah. I see it, okay, all right. Please back. Beautiful. So... Again, yeah, Ariel lays out the route for you for the route, or lays out the quickest route for Steplo. Um, from the passageway, to, uh, you head to Grip Station. From there, you descend deeper into the art on Steplo. The route to Grip Station used to be fairly safe until the Death's Head cult moved in. It winds through the ruins of an old mining settle settlement. It used to have a name when people lived here, but now it's just a few empty shacks huddled around a mine shaft where cultists have set a, a set up a temple, Everest. Players, uh, you, you might want to go. Might want to take down. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't read that. So, um, the whiskey's clearly kicking in by now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> always on your cultist. Way, always cultist. <laughs> on your way out uh, from the temple, the path she directs you, um, the, the the tunnel goes through a uh, sepulcher. As you pass through the sepulcher, you hear weird whispering in the air, and you continue to path into a disorienting passageway. passageway is as described as you progress into the darkness for a while you see light illuminating the path how do you view small huts here and there leading down into the opening of a mine pit and you see some uh, questionable figures standing therein as you pass by them what do you all do well, Tenacity, you like to make friends. Do you want to chat with them, or should we try to sneak past? You're right. I do like making friends. Hello. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm like, that was a tour. <laughs> what are your names? And why are you present here? Speak now, please. Just for friendship's sake. <laughs> I'm going to throw this guy in the pit. Each three of them, there are three of them, you see them kind of 
draw out these dagger priests. Oh, that doesn't seem very friendly. Oh, we love making friends. My name is Ygritte. This here is Vincenzo and Shrew. Here, what brings you our way? Oh, well, passing through. That's mostly it. Passing what? through. You all seem to be quite well equipped. You sure you don't want to stop at the temple? You could always use new followers. The Temple of the Moon? Oh no! The <laughs> <laughs> mm, nah, that's probably not really in my... I don't know about the rest of you all, but that's not really a thing. What do I you worship? Sure? Have... Temple of whom? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> um, they, let's see. It doesn't really give a ton of information about it, but... Uh... <laughs> the temple of run your pocket. <laughs> the temple of fuck around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> temple insert disc number three. <laughs> just not found move on to the next scene mm -hmm. Temple of Alan please add details <laughs> okay uh, actually we are our own sect the temple of the moon beneath we follow a different path we believe that people who pass through who are not believers are simply gifts Gifts from the moon beneath. Are you gifts or followers? Well, literally, they're following a believer. Quite, Physically, quite literally. Tangent. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, following uh, mother. That's who I'm. I'm following. Mother. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Their six mm -hmm. eyes let me know where I'm going. I follow those. The only way I follow is to. We them. gain quite a large stash from people passing through here who are unbelievers. If you're followers, you should join us. It's quite <laughs> lucrative. As he smiles, you see literal golden teeth. Mouth. Lucrative. As if. Um, God. Well, I think since we've got a couple people of faith here, we have enough religion in our group, and we should probably be moseying on. I think, as a protector of the people, I think I'm going to take out my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm drawing my... Uh... the hammer to their face. Yes. I've, you hear, you hear I've my come to make a donation. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My uh, my breech pistol. You hear the the cock of the gun just. Yeah, from my back, I draw my uh, new Leibog great sword. That's uh, almost too big to be called a great sword. Massive, thick, heavy, far too rough. Anime sword, Dude, regular anime short sword. sword. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was making a berserk reference. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. uh, look. You go your way. Follow your own path. We will. The hell they will! Yeah, I think while you're saying this, uh, literally, Quinn is like, overhead, oh, oh, about to bash one in the skull. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking like I'm getting ready to Beyblade into them. And just, you know, we can resolve this piece. <laughs> I'm actually picturing like a, a comic book scene where it's nasty. He's like, there's no need for violence. We can, and like the hammers appearing over his Already shoulder. Already. <laughs> I, I was thinking now. Tenacity. tenacity is just like, there's no need for violence. Meanwhile, we're already over to disappear from behind. <laughs> just... It's, it's quit, it's just like that, that southern swamp like country bunk. It's like, that hell we will. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Sir, um, says, sir. Yeah, a, uh, they got a Paps blue ribbon in their hand. <laughs> Crack across their head that just goes straight down. So metaphorically speaking, are we rolling initiative? Metaphorically, yes. So uh, for our our uh, Vermissian knight, that is going to be... Um, you can either do a kill religion or kill desolate. Oh, oh, that's not good. I don't have any of those. All right, here we go. Oh, come Your on now. I can't kill. Come on. Well, come on. Uh, we, 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 we're starting like super underleveled. Okay, Ooh. I'll take it. Success. Roll your damage and your strayus for blue. Okay. Your strayus. So this this will give a total, but it's actually just the higher one. Okay, so four four damage. Okay. All right. So basically, uh, as one of uh, as he's talking. Uh, with uh, what's your name uh, tenacity you just overhead swing and crush a skull and gold teeth kind of go flying out in a flurry of teeth and blood but while you do this you leave yourself slightly open and one of them gets a good job with his uh, uh, his uh, athame or Chris whatever you want to call it um, gets you good in the side Who's next uh, is this is this blood then it's blood yes and uh you haven't done your fallout. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Fallout is. No fallout. No fallout. Yeah, as I said earlier, there we I, go. I was already getting ready to Beyblade over everyone into them, so I just <laughs> lunge over the top of tenacity and go into them spinning with my massive oversized sword. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Quinn makes one a lot shorter. What uh, What are you doing, Kef? Go ahead and give me, let's see that roll. Uh, you said kill and religion. Or uh, desolate. Yeah, I have religion, luckily enough, so... Uh, standard. Oof. Success out of cost. Good thing y'all healed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll roll my... Uh... Stress. I, I actually Stress. gained more stress than when we were in town. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get a fallout going. Oh, minor fallout. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage while I look up your fallout. Yeah. Four damage. What are you attacking with? The great sword that I just bought. Massive hunk of iron, basically. Massive hunk of iron it is, as you take out the remaining cultists in a fashion of your liking. Yeah, as I yeah. said, I jump over the tenacity's head while they're still talking, not realizing they just got splattered with someone's brains. And I just spin into them like a Beyblade, the massive sword. Insert <laughs> re-screech as I'm flying over. <laughs> Um, I will give you the only, there's only two really that are applicable because you didn't get struck. Um, I'm saying you didn't get struck because you just fucking sideswiped them. Uh, hired or winded, which, which, without looking at what they do. <laughs> I, I did just jump over my compatriots heads to spin into them, so I think tired. Tired, you're not quite used to the heavy hunk, hunk of iron that you have yet. You overexert yourself, you get a little sleepy. Just kidding. Iron. Should be on your character sheet now. Alright, and with those two strikes, my friends, um, they're, they're, they're in pieces. A bloody mess. I, uh, I think they have money. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of those gold teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, check. My scrappy wolfhound uh, eats a few of the teeth, so you better scramble. Yeah, mm -hmm. better uh, call your dog off. <laughs> no. What'd you call me? 
<laughs> no, no, they're not referring to you. Don't wor don't worry. It's it's that's me because I already have a bag of interesting teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna this run to their temple and look for the stuff they stole from other people. But okay. there might be more. <laughs> you run into okay. the temple, mm -hmm. uh, and there are six more. <laughs> <laughs> Slam! Uh... <laughs> um, you do find gold teeth, though. <laughs> well, right. you, um, I'll give you the, the stats on that. But, uh, yeah, there are six more who now see you there. What mm -hmm. do you do? Uh, so I'm surprised by six of them standing there. And... She will, in her startled state, uh... Her skin will begin skittering with barely contained force, and the heart's blood within her uh, remakes her as a flickering, hun hungry zeotrope horror. What the fuck is that? So it's a witch, <laughs> it's witch true form. She is turning into a heart monster, and I now have mastery on hunt and kill checks. Nice. But risky for everything else. And it lasts till the end of the current situation. Okay, well that is yeah, that's it. They're they're kill desolate or religion. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh may I'll... I utilize an ability? Once he's done, quick. unless you're aiding him. Not aiding currently, so no. Desolate mastery. And we're up. Oh, I still got a success at a cost, damn. Mm-hmm. All right, what kind of stress is this? You don't have kill or or the domain? Not naturally, you just get mastery when you change into the true form. Which is just an extra extra die, yeah. right? I just get the extra die. Okay. Yeah. Um, roll, roll that damage and then roll your... Yeah, roll your blood. Okay. Hey... I'll take that. And then I gotta roll fallout. And no fallout. Damage. The damage is D6. Hmm. You don't say. Right. She just turns what? into a monster and starts ripping them apart. <laughs> you you what definitely annihilate. Uh, these two of them for sure. So I almost think since it's a zelotrope thing, it's almost like the ring girl. So it's like a flicking jarring movement. Yeah, as she's like going <laughs> in and just like ripping the throats out. And then it's like eldritch horror, like limbs that just reach out and grab and like snap necks and tear limbs apart and throw people across the wall. It's her hair like tentacles that have knives <laughs> at the end of them. Sure. Maybe you let people run a step or two, and then they realize that they've already been, you know, vivisected. Mm-hmm. It's terrifying. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> who next? <laughs> uh, so I'm you, still you screams the temple. <laughs> uh, so I'll, uh, yeah. I'll step up. Uh, Ian steps up while they're distracted and pulls out uh, his ridiculously old-fashioned revolver uh, and lets out a thunderously loud shot at one of the survivors. So that uh, is kill and religion. Or desolate, I think you said. Mm -hmm. yep. I've, got, I've got religion, so... Go for that. Yes. Kill, kill domain... Religion. No whammies. Ooh. I had a good feeling about that, too. Damn. Alright, so... Dressed, uh, blood? Yes. Well, what, or, you were uh, shooting something, I heard? Yeah. Supplies, fortune... What were you, you were you using magic or an, like a gun? A gun. Yeah, it's supplies. Mm. Fallout. Well, that was certainly disappointing.
Okay. Minor Fallout 4 spies. <clears throat> I feel like I should just roll for these ones. Oh, no, they're circumstantial. What kind of weapon was it? It was my uh, busty old revolver. Two old-fashioned pistols. Ranged, loud, one-shot. You could also potentially look at Fortune Fallout. I was going to say, like you could also like, wrong. break one mm -hmm. of the pistols. But well, doesn't it say for for range weapons? It's that it's specifically supplies, or does it say fault fortune as well? Uh, um, honestly, the the fallout is kind of up to like the GM and what he wants to do narratively on it. Yeah. Your fortune goes to your echo, though, doesn't it? Is that you, Enith? No. Or is that? No, uh, exactly. no, I can do it no. where I can sub. Echo for something else. That's a power. It's a witch power. <laughs> mm hmm. Ain't it something? What would you rather have, Yenith? I mean, yeah. I, I like having a, a consequence to the weapons, supplies. You know, I think fortune ammo, would make sense or... if you described doing something flashy with the revolver while shooting. Yeah. It would make more sense um, for fortune. I mean, there's but... one that's broken. And it, it does say two old fashioned pistols, so maybe there's one left and now it does D6 damage. And if it happens again, then it's nothing. Or you could just take out both pistols at once. <laughs> Uh, and so if we're going with supplies, I'm going to uh, uh, picture you unloading on these guys with your pistols, Western style, because I just finished a Deadlands campaign. Uh, so the uh, fallout would be out of ammo. Okay. I miss Deadlands. Yeah, same. <laughs> but you posted the Deadlands epilogue the other day, and I was like, I miss. <laughs> also, a lot more people left the group than the posse than I thought we would. Right? Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's just impending crazy. apocalypse, hell on earth scenario. Oh, fuck all that. Um, all right, who else is acting? <laughs> uh, Gathered is still gathering teeth, but he looks over his shoulders and sees uh, Lind going in full witch mode, and he's just like, here we go again. <laughs> May I utilize administrations this time uh it's it's like a, a bit of faith moment, and i can assist my comrades in this situation i don't know what the reach is but um uh who take part in this uh solace and calm in a world of chaos uh may gain some benefit uh, remove one, one minor blood or mind fallout, all that stuff. Uh, major blood or mind fallout uh, can degrade. And if I can perform this, it's like a service on a delve as we're going farther down. I can add a D4 to uh, our resistance. If that's allowed. So wait. Nobody has it any might. major fallouts, so I feel like you might waste this. Didn't uh, it also say remove one minor? Yeah. You no, you remove you remove a major blood. blood or a major mind to a minor. It says uh, down, you downgrade it. Sorry, remove is the wrong word. You downgrade it. Yeah. Or or remove okay. a minor. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And does that affect everyone around you? It says, lead your allies in service of praise to the beneath all player characters who took part can remove that. So if everybody is willing to participate, then yes, everybody can uh, remove one of their uh, minor blood or fallouts or downgrade to major blood or mine fallout as well to minor. Now, I think I think if you perform this service with, with, with while you're in a delve, that that sounds like the negative to this. By the way, adding D4 to a delve's resistance is a bad thing. 
Oh yeah. Yep. It makes it harder stronger because we yeah. waste time doing yep. it. All right. Yeah. Are we still in combat? Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's no like in and out of combat, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Then, Did then you say there's a pit. Hmm. Did you say there's like a pit that they throw people into or something? Or did I completely imagine that? No. Okay. I like where your head's they at, said, though. They said something about the pit, but I think it was like a religious thing for them, not specifically. Like, they kill the the travelers, take their stuff, and throw them in the pit afterwards, after they rob them. I don't remember a mention of a pit, to be honest. Okay. I might have heard that from somewhere else, too. But I, I, did, I do know what you're talking about, though, now. I just don't remember what context it was in. All right, I'll in ixnay uh, that ability for now. Maybe Temple of Grip. <laughs> um, maybe. Is anyone joining the uh, murder in the Temple of the Six extra guys, or however many are left? Yeah, if Joe's having trouble deciding, I'm going to continue my Beyblade action and now into this <laughs> temple. Willy nilly, boys. Please. <laughs> uh, but, uh. Please take on later. stress. <laughs> yeah, uh. So because of tired, I don't get an extra die from my skill, but do I still get it from domain? Sounds like it. Okay, cool. Good thing that I. <laughs> Only skill that domain here. Success at a cost. I'll roll the damage first. That oh, didn't even roll, oh. that just like bounced onto the screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me damage. That, give me that bloodshed. Alright. That I have protection. All right, nice roll. All right, so uh, one of the cultists catches your eye, uh, a drow who seems to have a bunch of knives uh, kind of stands out instead of just holding one. You focus your attack on them. Uh, what do you do to this particular drow? As I Beyblade in with my massive hunk of metal sword, I hit him straight in the abdomen and just keep pushing. It's not even like cutting through him, it's just like it's pressing through him and tearing his skin and flesh and it's not even just cutting and it bisects him in hand you hear them scream they've killed bishop they've killed bishop run for your lives they begin to run away oh, embrace that yes yes you're too good at that what? that's the best voice I think you've ever done um, I'm so glad I'm here for it. <laughs> they, yeah, they flee into the darkness, and there is no longer a threat. I don't know whether to take me being able to do a good, like, almost Skaven beast voice as a compliment or not. <laughs> uh, that's I would. A compliment. That's a good one. You should be happy I didn't go full scaven and be like, Get great at that, dealer! <laughs> so, you all find um, a variety of, of things uh, scattered everywhere. Wedding rings, gold teeth, family heirlooms, things clue. Pilgrims passing by. Um, these all count as uh, a single resource. A D8, I'll put it in the chat here. Um, as for the cultists themselves, they had some stuff. Here? Mm. And with that equipment, uh, we are a little past our halfway point. This will be our long break, so smoke them if you got He did that so much, I had to start figuring out a way to penalize him. Yeah, remove some bad. Uh, God, where are you <laughs> fucking more? Well, we? you just lost one for calling it that. We just, we just finished slaughtering the cultists. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cultists and 
We just said aloha to the cultist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely was aloha for sure. All right, somebody took the items. Every somebody got that in their uh, resources. <laughs> did anybody take any of the old ones? Did we just divvy those out to people? Did uh, take, I like, just leave the old ones things? into my inventory for now. All right, and... you just take all of them, and then we'll divvy them out as we need it. Party inventory. Party quartermaster. Yeah, I like to party. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess I could replace my broken pistol with a different pistol. Yeah, you can take that one if you want to have that one instead. Why not? It's not, it's it not broken. It's, yeah, it's ammo. not broken. It's just out. <clears throat> um, okay. You guys reach Grip Station after passing through the old mine. Around 100 feet above the train tracks around Grip Street. Grip Station. I'm here for money. Money. Your piece fell out. Oh no. <laughs> hey, thanks, Viking, for the bits, man. Wait, I have to read. My favorite dad joke I often use while buying milk at the store when they ask me if I want a bag of my milk, I just tell them, no thanks, I'll keep it in the jug. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> yeah. Are you banned from your grocery store now? Um, <laughs> you should be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, around 100 feet above the the train tracks around Grip Station, glittering crystalline stalactites creak and shudder gently in response to the vibrations of those who move beneath them. It was the hope of the Elfer constructors that travelers on the line could marvel at the crystals as they were illuminated by huge spotlights mounted on the carriages. But the lights proved too expensive to maintain, and any time a train went over 10 miles an hour, the stalactites started to fall from the ceiling. You don't say. Uh, it, 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 well, it had a... <laughs> It had some information. The entire time you've described this thing, I can't stop watching it. You need to clean your glasses, Joey. You've got to be like smudged up there, crying. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I'm really trying to pay attention to you, Scar. I really am, but Joey is dying the entire time you're describing this, and I don't understand it. Forgive me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Wait, where are my glasses? <laughs> Fucking hell, Joey. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, to summarize, to summarize, Grip Station is a large underground subway station, essentially. Above it are a, a huge chorus of beautiful crystalline stalactites, uh, but vibrations on the ground, even slight vibrations, make them shudder, and large vibrations make them. <clears throat> You said they, they're crystalline, uh, are they glowing? They're glow they glow if you shine a light on them. Um, as a consequence of this, journeys through Grip Station subsequent subsequently uh, came with a 15-minute portion of anguishly slow, pitch-black travel accompanied by the singing, quote-unquote, of crystals threatening to detach overhead. <laughs> Excuse me. Of late... The Vermissian sages have established a local base of operations in the original station house, shoring up the fragile cr <clears throat> crystal structures above their heads with scaffolding. What would have been a perfectly serviceable regional office has been ruined by the arrival of the vassals. The station was flooded six months ago after Quinn, the Vermissian knight who traveled with the party, failed in their duties. They've only recently finished drying out the tunnel, salvaging what books they can. And they still mourn the So we're in your home turf, Quinn. The sages yeah, are it's willing be kind to... kind of awkward. <laughs> Gotta be some, yeah, some awkward moments, I think, here. <laughs> <laughs> the sages are willing to let anyone in... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the sages are unwilling to let anyone in without a good reason. For the dead not rising and flooding the Undercity, this might be considered paranoid. The kill zone outside of the main gates has the 
corpses of at least seven vassals in various states of decomposition, each of them riddled with rifle shots as you approach. Aside from tense trade negotiations outside the main entrance, no one's going in and no one's going out. Two on-edge sages, armed with rifles, stand on either side of the door behind recently erected gates. What do you do? Let's not yell up to them because I don't need uh, shards raining down on my head. <clears throat> They aren't letting anyone in. How do we... Do we just go around it? I would prefer if we went about this calm manner. Wouldn't it be... Uh, well, uh, well, you didn't want to yell and introduce yourself to them this time? It worked so well the last time. <laughs> Why have we not been calm? Shall, shall I shout? No! Do him the definition of calm. <laughs> well, you you are very calm. I I, I couldn't I couldn't disagree with that. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Uh, but what would be our plan of action if we did not want to be more? Quinn is the knight. Can can they talk to them? Maybe uh, Quinn. Correct. Right. You are a knight. The knight? Yeah, but see, there's a... Uh, I, I may or may not have been the one who let the drowned queen into this place in the first place. I'm sorry? I'm just like really wide-eyed and like slow turn my head to stare at him at this point. You're... It, it was an accident. Uh, pray tell, how do you accidentally release a well, potential catastrophic event? I'm, I, uh, I, I, I have really many theories on this matter. And, like, just like gently, like, also agreeing with them, like, get ever so closer to their shoulder and be like, yes, how did you accidentally do this? Well, I uh, I was responsible for warding the area, but my mind is a rusty sieve, and life is a bumpy road. Okay, I don't know if I am understanding this uh, metaphor, but... No, I understand it. It makes sense. I think. <laughs> so then... It was your fault. <clears throat> was it? I, I mean, one could say it's the fault of uh, the frailty of old age. You could blame it on that if you'd like. I demand you tell me right now exactly what you did. What rituals? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he as well. I, I just actually DM. Do I do? Is there any like lore I should know here? Or make something up. No, there's not. A, the, uh, pretty much what you've said is all that they conveyed. So it's uh at the hit from there if you cho to choose to do. So. Yeah, yeah like I guess I'll reenact. Like, did you move like this or like this? Oh no no no! I just uh. I just described some runes that like need to be scribbled in certain spaces. You As you're discussing it, this, uh, this a group of three pilgrims passes by you, heading away from the gates. They appear to have been turned away. <clears throat> As they're coming by, you see that one is... Excuse me, gosh. One is very wounded and clearly in need of rest. Like they were allowed to let in despite the circumstance. Um, can I, can I attempt heal checks on them instead of our fellow allies? Or what? 
I can assist you. You just want close Actually, to the uh, glorious embrace of death. Yes. Just remember, you're using our precious supplies for these people. Mm. Well, I'm not, I'm not healing them that way. I'm just making it like a heal check. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean by like stress. I actually don't have heal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a hole? Let's just plug that. Like that. Would this be technology? <laughs> um, Since it's it, like the sages. Uh, well, they're not sages. This would be this would oh. be mend, um, and the domain. The domain would be a cult. Okay, I can, I can do that. Okay, I can. You want I can help them? you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll lend my help to Lance. Uh, I mean, to uh, Lind. And if we succeed, I have the the hookah, which increases it to a D six. And you are okay. Quinn, right? Mendicult Quinn assist. Roll it up. Yes. Excessive cost. <laughs> Great. So, what stress are we taking? That I go nice. Um, well, I'm what I'm checking here. Supplies to heal him. I was thinking echo at the trauma, but supplies. You're, yeah, you're right. Supplies is fine. You're using first aid. I prefer echo, but that's fine. I can do supplies. <laughs> Up to you between the Actually, two. Yeah. Oh, I could choose. Maybe I you have a flashback well. of a, of some horrible event, maybe, you know, and it triggers it, causing an sure. echo or a supply. Flashback of Joey dying of laughter. <laughs> oh, I think in the rules it's supposed to be supplies, but... I'm going to start doing it again. Go bring it up, please. Hey. Hey. I have... Yeah, and I have resistance, so I don't think I take anything. What's your resistance? Uh, for Echo. Oh, yeah, if you only rolled one, you got resist. Do I roll it for both of us, or does he have to roll a separate? That. The, the, the stress, if he helps, and we succeeded with cost. You bo roll, there, both roll stress. stress. We both roll stress, okay. <laughs> stress affects everybody differently. Nice roll. No follow up for me. Um... I like how it right. actually combines them, even if you roll out. Of or course, by me. <laughs> what did, did you go with supplies or echo? We did echo. echo. I took one echo stress because I have two protection, and that one stress triggered minor fallout. God, I'm so uh -huh. sorry, dude. <laughs> this game is brutal. Yeah, so... <laughs> And in line with what I said earlier, uh, the only thing that uh, I, I have to go with at that point is deja vu. I feel like I've been in this place before. You have some deja vu of some past events. You're, you know, you're, you maybe you had deja vu of trying to heal your brothers that you failed at the station. Dang. Um, That's going to make it even more awkward to talk to them. But you still succeeded, so there's some light at the end of the tunnel here. Let me give you your deja vu real quick. You can see yeah, what that does. Hanging on the ceiling. Go ahead and also roll a D twelve. <clears throat> you want to roll high. Sorry, me? Yes, a, a D ten, not a D twelve. Okay. Very good. And then roll another D10 for me, please. Uh oh. Okay. As thanks, they give you resource worth E6 in the Haven category. You, you could take that one, Quinn, if you want. So I will um, 
say that it's it's literally um, a currency from the above. Okay. <clears throat> I'll ask them as I'm trying to heal them. What did what did you try to get into the gates? How did you approach it? Just said that we were in need of aid. Our friend here was attacked by this this creature in the water. Turned us away no matter what. They nothing we said would change their mind. Heartless, heartless bastards. The way you pronounce water. Oh. Heartless bastards, you say. But this one is not in chill point two, Quinn. Hey, hey, don't <sighs> look at me. I'm not saying all Vermissian knights are just just them. So overly concerned with the the floods and the the creatures that are coming from them that they're willing to let everyone else hang out to dry. It's not right. Well, then hang out to dry. That was an unfortunate choice of words. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> it's underwater, so it's kind of the opposite of dry. But I get what okay. you're saying. You guys are awful. <laughs> All of us latched onto it. <laughs> anyway, good well, luck. And I'll just kind of send them on their way, I guess. I don't know what these knights are going to want to let us in. I don't know yeah. if they will. I'd say we we go ahead and we let Quinn talk to him, and if we can't, we just need to move what? on. Then. Why me? You know them. You're a part of the order. Uh, Quinn, I'll say that you know that the f that they have a haunt for blood and echo at a D8. Um, they have a haunt for mind at a D6, a fortune for D4, supplies for D4. Okay, look at it this way, guys. Do we really need to heal? I mean, I can try to heal us on the road, but it is better when we do so in safe havens. Okay, I'll talk to them. All right, I guess I'm going up to the gates and uh, awkward wave. No one's coming in. Go away. Hey, remember me, Benzo? It's your it's your your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Well it's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, your boy. Quinn. Done hiding are you after what you did? You arnless hey, dog. You're accident. definitely not coming in. Oh, okay, but on. what if uh what if I didn't come in? But the heroes who are going to fix my problems come in instead. No one's coming in. Not you, not them, not anybody. You're going to be overrun eventually. Not if we don't let anybody in. That's the whole point. Well, you got stilts that keep growing? St what? Still, they look at each other stilts. Eventually, the water is gonna get you if we don't stop it. The best defense is a good defense, and we're gonna defend. No one's coming in. All right, I go back to the party. I tried one thing, and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> You're welcome to roll. <laughs> To roll to to like compel them or whatever. Yeah, I actually have a quick question here for you, Sean. So I could physically enter the gray. If I move around in there, and then come back into the real world, do I come back in the same spot or elsewhere? Could I tell technically teleport us behind the gate if we enter the gray? 
Uh, well, let me look at the description of the gray because that seems exceedingly overpowered if that's true. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a Dell of religion and it takes 10 minutes for me to cast it. And it's not like it's not a dangerous place. And it says gray, page 169. So instead of dealing with two guards, two drow guards at a fortified station, you want to go and deal with possibly monsters at a fortified station. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Well, would it still be fortified in the gray? It is. It is. It is the same, pretty much equivalent, except monochrome, shadowy, and dangerous. Oh, that was worth <laughs> thinking about. All, <laughs> all right, well, I'm ready to make my check. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, compel just, and yeah, technology. Does anyone, does anyone want to uh, plead my case? Is it? What was the role again? John, I'm compel sorry. technology. I have compel if you want me to assist you. That would help because I don't have compel. All right. So add add my name to the list on the roll. So I All right. as yeah. So as Quinn and uh, Lynn, Lynn approach. Uh, Are she you kinda, still in your demonic form? <laughs> no, that's it's only in the situation. <laughs> it lasts for as long as the battle does, and then it stops. <laughs> Because I was like this tentacle monster over here. <laughs> yeah, just like, <laughs> let us let in, I'll be fine. <laughs> let me in. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to try to, I, I thought the, the line of these are the people that are going to help us defeat it so that you don't have to worry about it anymore is good. So she will just keep trying to hype up all of the cool things we have done, like rescuing people from Deves and fighting these monsters and... Uh, trying to like tout our accomplishments as though we are grand and great heroes that we maybe aren't necessarily. Just the hype man on the back, okay? <laughs> Got go it. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> no, 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 no. It's your boy. <laughs> it's your you boy. Did the fucking, you, you did the fucking air horn. The DJ air horn? Yeah, you have to. You can't be a hype man unless you do the DJ. <laughs> <air horn. laughs> Hey, there we go. There's a roll. Nice. <laughs> Got it. Uh, as you're explaining this, the crystalline stalactites at the top of the cavern shuddering and shaking and being falling around you and around them as they're in the open trying to listen to your story. And that, in combination with your convincing fail, Oh, all right, just hurry up and get in. Hurry, hurry. They open the gates as they go in as well. All right. Hi. Let's go in. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right, you are in grip station. All right, let's get a grip of the situation. <laughs> Don't risk it again. And the third time tonight you have to kill yourself? Yeah. This is I mean, I'm the time. dead walker. I'm the dead walker. Makes sense. And my dad joke doesn't require death. I don't know. You're just picking the wrong ones. I mean, you kind of had an excuse of you were just reading a... A Snapple lid? Yeah, you were playing off of an already existing thing. That... That's fair. That's fair. Anybody using right. Havens or buying stuff? Yep. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, I want to go and resupply to try and lower this uh, supply stress. Wait, did you say the D was for um, blood here? The D was. What yes. dice? I'll Show I'll give you D. I'll give you the D. Uh, blood is a D eight. <laughs> Expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'd also like to try and resupply. Guess like. Uh, supplies only D4. Supply. Yeah, let's okay. supply up. Did you uh, need guns? We just roll a D4 then. So, like, I trade off uh, one of my resources that's a D4, and then I just 
roll you get it for D4? free. No, you don't roll unless you're n not trading. If you trade, you just trade it straight up, and there's no stress roll, right? Right, but I'm trying to lower the stress on stress. my supplies. So is it just... Gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it cures it completely, yeah. Oh. The only just, resource it, I have... Wait, wait, you saved. don't... Wait, sorry, I'm confused. You don't re... If you spend resources to remove stress, it, it automatically does maximum? Just stress. Okay. Yeah, it just removes all of it. Okay. Or for or a fallout if you have one. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna trade a vial of cursed ink. Yeah, I'll trade that bag of interesting teeth I've got for uh, <laughs> supply here. Nice. Right. I'm like, yeah, I'll take some ammo here, and there, and there. Oh, yeah, I can get more ammo for uh, Yenis guns, maybe. Normally, you would, uh, you do, you roll a dice for the stress, but um, <coughs> this place, I'm letting you take it out totally. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I. I have an ability that I can use now if you have an idea, or I can save it. Um, but once per session, when you enter a landmark, you can intuit the location of an occult sect who are hiding information that will aid you in your quest. Is there uh, any cult nearby that we can... Any occult cult that we can... Is there a rat monk uh, somewhere in here? Um, you're trying to find out information? Uh, it cult? just says, no, 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 it, the cult has information that'll help us in our quest. Whatever that is, is up to the DM. Uh, th this is like a military outpost, it's not, probably not a cult here. Okay. I'll wait then. That would have been good for the, the guys you guys massacred earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what well, wasn't the temple that you guys ran away from? Oh, it was exactly this. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else I need um, specifically, but if anybody yeah. else needs anything. Hey, Joey, you have that ritual that you have to remove the mi minor downgrade uh, major fallout. We want to do that now that we're at a safe place. Oh, I, your services? Uh, do the, do the, uh, the Joey has guessing? that uh, ability. Administrations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, it's capable of getting rid of uh, yeah, remove one minor blood or a mine fallout. Okay, so important thing here, uh, I think, to interpret the haunts. So, you can use any resource to try to remove stress. Um, e the die type is just the maximum amount that they can heal you for. So, if you have a D4 resource and you want to give them that to... Uh, try to get a d4 back you can do that even if it says they're a d6 or d8 um, that's just the maximum amount they're still you're still only going to get a d4 roll for your stress to get it back but um, um, but uh, if they're a d6 and you try to give them a d8 of a resource they still are only going to roll a maximum of a d6 okay so that's but you your roll off the stress. stress yeah okay okay we told you wrong, then. All right. All right. I am. I still have two stress then. Did anybody have any mind or blood fallouts? Yeah, I do. Okay. I so yeah, if you want to do your ministrations, then we can knock those out. Yeah, that doesn't. Um, our uh, drowned friend over there have a mind one or something. No, we got rid of that before. Well, you you got rid of it by actually doing something. I'm tired. Could I just take a nap? <laughs> to get rid of it. Is it you ongoing? Do a, yeah, it's ongoing. You need to do a recovery workout. Do a yoga yeah. for mobility. 
Uh. Alright. Anybody else? Any exchanges? Uh, no. Ready to head out and deal with these rat monks. All right. Do the knights know about the temple? Do they know where the temple is or what's there? You do. If anything? You already know or where it is. Yeah, this, oh, the grip station they... was just on the way, pretty much. Oh, okay. But have we heard any rumors of anything being there? Like, is there any dangers at the temple itself? Oh. That anybody uh, at the fort would have heard of? It's not really anything at risk of you asking. Uh, so, I would say that they have not left the walls. They, so they wouldn't have heard, and they're not speaking to anybody coming up. They're immediately getting turned away, so I'd say negative. Right. No now, twelve thirty essential is normally a our average cutoff time. Um, even though we didn't start till nine eight thirty is when I, everyone was here. So my question is: Do we want to speed this along, or is everyone feeling good? Probably gonna uh, one o'clock would be the maximum. I'm gonna cut it off no matter. What. But That's I can fine. speed some this along at this point. It's a perfect time too. I'm fine to speed along if you want to get done by one. Speeding yeah, along would be like in the next... It would end it in the next, like, 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. This looks great. Yeah. Sure, fine by me. I'm good either way. Right. So at, at Grip Station at the, uh, the the rear, you see just outside the gates exactly what was indicated. There's a large cavernous oak side of the tunnel. As you leave the gates, you see look like stairways just going down, down, down. This and the stairways are warped and obscure, and they're all around the wall, all ceiling stairs going down. Uh, you see water kind of leaking out the roof and the sides of the caverns kind of dripping down and dripping out of grip station even. Uh, they, they survived their attack, but water's still draining station going down the steps. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Go back down from our equipment section. Eventually, you reach the bottom of the steps. Before you, you see a great step well. Does anyone... Un, uh, uh, I'll just say... Because uh, I didn't know. So I'm going to just go ahead and explain. A step well is uh, a, a large structure that holds uh, great amounts of water. Um, if you, you might have to Google it because I had to just to get a visualization because even the description didn't make a ton of sense to me. But it is a massive well for containing water with intricate corridors all around it and steps all around. I kind of go in and out of it. Um, <coughs> it's kind of like a temple for water, you might say. Um, and Stepwell um, is called Stepwell appropriately because it is a huge Stepwell. Uh, a huge structure designed to hold water with stairways that lead to multiple levels within. It used to be a bit creepy. There were a sect of rat-worshipping cultists who lived here and would let the sacred animals crawl and scratch all over their bodies. They writhe in divine ecstasy. They're all dead now. The Drowned Queen, a spiteful and petty extra-dimensional entity of tremendous power, has set up shop here. Someone summoned her. Maybe it was one of the rat cultists after they learned a spell from the Holy Swarm and she's made her pl uh, made the place her home. The well is full to the brim and occasional islands of worked stone jut up from the surface. She's had her vassals construct bridges between them in preparation for the arrival of outsiders, but they're not very good at it. Coral grows up from beneath the surface of the water in beautiful colors. Cold white, vibrant yellow, and glittering silver. Beneath it, shoals of fish flit back and forth, and the waterlogged bodies of vassals drudge up and down the submerged steps, carrying 
treasures stolen from drowned havens. This is what you all see. This is where you all are. You are now in the chamber seeing this. The queen sits atop a intricate throne oral. And platforms have been constructed around the step well that will lead you up to her. She looks like a beautiful drow. Tract her. I will siphon her power. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, you're you're going to try stealing power from a god. It's what I do. Yeah. Uh, do we think they know we're here? Can they see us? Where we are? Yes. Uh, some of the vassals look up at you as they're laboring and quickly look away uninterested. We just need the stone, right? I can sneak ahead. Yes. We have to understand that may be percussions taking it. This we can see what she wants for it. Um, I mean, in a larger sense, you know, if you go back to Devlin, aren't we theoretically interested in banishing the drowned queen from this plane dimension or whatever at least convincing her to stop flooding everything yeah seems unlikely it's kind of her bag drowned queen's gonna drown there is only one queen the six-eyed mother so we so we can send tonight to go ahead and negotiate (laughs) We can negotiate then. What do we do about that? I find it's best to take what you need from her. From a safe position. That's an answer that I can definitely agree with. And I, like, check my rifle. Yeah, well, while they're talking, I... uh, Ket has already begun to sneak down further <laughs> in. God damn it! No. <laughs> you, you, you just look around and I'm gone. Where did, um, where did our no friend go? Uh, they were just here. Um, um oh, oh God, no. Uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> did you have you want to have a sneak roll here? At this point, yeah. Uh, Gint is uh, just prepping. This is probably going to go south rather fast, and we need to be ready for it. I'm doing the same as putting the breech <laughs> ammo in, and I like gently unsheathe my blade just in case. Wait, guys, guys, guys! This, this. Have you ever tried to like kill a warlock patron in D and D? I feel like this is a bad idea. It probably. You, as you guys are discussing what to do, you hear a beautiful voice echo throughout the step up. Don't be shy. I know you're here. Come, let's speak. All right. Well, tenacity, just, do your thing. <laughs> go ahead and negotiate tenacity, and I'm like mentally just like, "Oh, Kath, please, don't fuck this up." Am I uh, okay? I wander in. And say, I apologize for intruding the situation. Forgive me and my friend. But we had something we wanted to discuss with you. If that is okay. After you walk in and start speaking, you just notice my tail behind like a random rock further down. <laughs> I'm trying to do the most illustrious, like, boyist, like, uh, l- like, lean down to this person to distract, to help, uh, <laughs> to help our, our friend. I, Discussion I, I, sounds lovely. I've grown bored. My vassals 
Give me little entertainment anymore. And tell your sneaky what? one that he can join you as well. Which sneaky one? <laughs> <laughs> where Keth is sneaking all of a sudden three vassals kind of appear in front of him their eyes are kind of glowing they at you they open their mouth you hear her voice you you smell like fish <laughs> okay look I didn't uh, it wasn't my intention for that situation may we start over hello hi my name is Tenacity. It probably is suiting for the situation that we might be in. Uh, but we had a situation, if you do not mind. So I, I'll say you're probably an eyes, enough eyesight of her by this time, Tenacity. And yeah, like I said, you could tell that she was like a, a beautiful looking night elf, but now you see she's actually even bioluminescent. And, and glimmers in the darkness. She kind of crosses her legs on the throne. By all means, what is your intention? While they're talking, can uh, Ina see any like magical lines or anything that indicate how she is in this place? Like the residue of a ritual? She appears very physical to you. I gesture gently upward and say, oh, the mother um, watches over me, as I hope she does as you as well. You beyond your beauty, my grace, or my liege. I can only assume that one of the other must be true. You hold a lot of power, I can only assume. Uh, but I kind of gently, like, with, with with my hands as I bow backwards, I kind of, like, kind of try to gesture to the rest of the group to be like, come over here, come over here, <laughs> like, bring them in. All right. Um, seeming as how saw us all. Uh, we're looking for something. Uh, something to help in our dire situation. Not caught by her. <laughs> Would you be able to help us? Or may we make some form of trade, perhaps? <laughs> help you I could simply make you one of my vassals and help me for eternity what do you have to offer me that I could not take aha well you see you mentioned your vassals are not very interesting so tenacity here is very very interesting so you should make him your prince consort and chat with him all the time and then you won't have to go like drowning people. Okay, I didn't well, you you know what? <laughs> uh I didn't volunteer myself, but uh that's interesting enough. Um so yes, I love weddings. <laughs> um, I didn't. Uh, uh, vassal, I don't believe, means weddings, does it? it well, you, you just got suggested as a print consort. Uh, right. Um, would this mean that we could save people with this? I would be. I would be capable of such a thing if that were the case a vassal I'm already a vassal to my my mother the queen there is no mother here 
There is only me. You are in the court of the drowned queen. Holy place in its own right. But what he says... Good point. I've been summoned here, but I can still be banished. Only by consecrating another I be here. Permanently. More permanently? My Sorry, rule would be guaranteed. Wait, did I summon her? Or, or did... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I hope not. Who summoned you? Is the plot literally the drunk queen wants to get laid? <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, tenacity. <laughs> what have you done to me? No. You're definitely going to be the bottom in this relationship. <laughs> no! I have heard one of you calling out to me among you. She raises a finger lazily. You. She points at Yeneth. It's true, I have done it. I have seized power. I would take more. Extends her hand eloquently. More than you would ever imagine. Rule art together. Mm. And... Return to the spire. Return the spire. There would be no need. You would have your own kingdom. Your companions may take the warding ruin they seek. I know what you want. Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. And the... <sighs> Uh, yeah, Ian's all in for this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Junk man's going junk. Yeah. Just rip all your clothes off and run up it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, he, he rips his clothes off, jump, jumps on top of Ket, and I Beyblade up there with him on my back. <laughs> she Ian stands up. up and he's like, I'm not actually that experienced. Do you... Do I... Um... <laughs> she stands up. The rat cult had a wide variety of different spells that they collected over. Some traded from other settlements, some stolen. Most of them whispered to them carpet of rats and be fine power. Most of their libraries have been lost and submerged by one yet remains back. Gestures. First, you join me. She opens her arms to you. All right. Do I? Uh, I mean, this seems to be precisely what this character wants. Hey, we we found a fucking marriage marriage ring earlier <laughs> in the loop. Oh yeah. Um, I I, I I gently grab Yinneth by uh, the shoulder and go, Yinneth, is this something truly designed? It is. Take the wolf pup. Replace your teeth with those gold teeth we found. You'll be happy. <laughs> she goes, she goes, what's, what's wrong with my current teeth, but <laughs> why would I need to do that? They're very basic. Very, very basic. <laughs> I, Sorry. I... I have no words. She literally doesn't <laughs> say anything. She's just like... taken aback. And I'll, I'll yeah. take... I'll, I'll gently grasp the, your, your hound by the uh, uh, the collar and hold them tight just still look at you like <laughs> something wrong with me. smiling behind your hand 
I can't put one of his clawed hands on your uh, shoulder and says, <laughs> I think basic suits you. <laughs> <laughs> basic. Oh man, I have not been updating the map. Bad GM. <laughs> oh no. Ep 7. Ruining the immersion for the stream watchers. I know. How <gasps> dare Watch. you. Ah, yo. All right, what are y'all doing? I mean, they're yeah, gonna yeah, go do stuff, I guess. They're gonna bone. <laughs> We're waiting for okay. the stone. Well, more importantly, Yenis. Yeah. Yeah. I got I a mean, bow. I'm a, a junk mage with enlightenment motivation. You're a junk um, mage about to give her your junk. Yeah. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, um, <laughs> she braces you. It's cold and wet. As she does so, she says, Join me, the cosmic abyss. And you guys feel a rumbling as she embraces Yeneth. And all of a sudden, the water kind of bellows. And up from the water, all around the entire coral throne structure, giant massive jaws come up. And you see that she was, in fact of what looks like the lore of like an what an angler fish might have <laughs> and Yenith <laughs> is consumed in a crash and brought down you so gather <laughs> <laughs> you gather the warding rune that where she indicated it was true and the temple begins to shake and it was already overflowing the step well but it begins to bubble and overflow even more as you begin rushing out of the temple water coming up behind you you go up the many steps you go through grip station back to the temple and the whole way you hear rushing water coming behind you when you reach the temple it's in disarray as uh, temple as temple priests Pilgrims and the hounds are all almost in a near riot, and you see behind you rushing water is getting closer and closer and closer, and it's only a matter of time before it reaches you, and you only have moments boarding runes in place. That is a story for another time. That concludes Drowned, the one shot for Heart. Well done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, did they bone? <laughs> <laughs> well, she definitely enough. swallowed him up. So they bone, right, dude? Um, yeah, thanks for playing, you guys. This was just a really cool and interesting system. It wasn't like it. as weird and abstract as, like, Blades in the Dark. It's, it, like, still made sense in my brain, despite the abstractness. Yeah, I would say it worked um, very well, actually. Good. It's nice smooth. Stress and recovery. Yeah. Yeah. I love I love the the world building of it. That it like the concept behind everything that like the above world beneath the heart and the spire, all that stuff. That's crazy. I love it. It's like they wanted. They, it's like they saw Morkborn and like, man, I really want rules light, but I want to make sure it's applicable to everything, and I want to just, I just want to be rules light and lore oh, fucking insane. Like the lore and the setting <laughs> is so fucking neat and awesome. Uh, I love it. Go and thanks for the sub, dude. What you doing? Just Owen coming point. in just before. <laughs> I really like that the, the places are really evocative, even without a ton of description. Like the 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 cavern, the station with like crystals in the top where the train comes through. Mm -hmm. It only takes a couple sentences, but like you can picture being in the train and like, oh man, oh yeah. man, please don't, you know. Well, it's cool. They even have some artwork. Um, I I could probably show it on the stream. They have some cool artwork for that that um, I didn't have time to put up in Foundry for you guys to view. Something from I uh, no, I redid everything. Anyway, yeah, um, I, you guys a hard game, huh? And I would love to play this again. This was fun as fuck. The only yeah. thing I didn't like 
is the the one shot specifically is a really fucking neat story overall, but I feel like it's too it's too much in a small amount of space. It's like it's mm -hmm. like a mile long and like a puddle yeah. deep. Um, it, it felt kind of it felt like I I had to rush things, but there's not like Definitely anything more than what you guys did. There's like you guys did not miss on any content. That was literally except for one oh, delve. Wow. I skipped one delve to just to end it quicker. Right. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely have taken each of those scenes and kind of made them into a, a nice adventuring. Yeah, I I really like the delve system thing. It would work really good as like a backup game where it's just like, ah, oh, we don't have all the players. Let's just play hard with like do a big delve and. Yeah, it really mm -hmm. surrounds a. It's surrounded by a whole hex crawl concept. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, well, um, let me uh, let the viewers go, and those of you who are who, who need to hit the bed, um, thank you guys for hanging out and sticking around. That was again Heart, the city beneath, kind of fun. Uh, we'll catch you guys with, uh, tomorrow with Pathfinder, and then Friday with our debut of our Alien campaign. Y'all have a good night. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> not y'all. Are, are we playing Pathfinder?